October that didn't have anything for this campaign. That's true. Yeah. So. Um, but so, as you'll recall, we last left off with your party having been party to a meeting of the minds of the great houses of Hightown, including even the Morosinis, or at least a small, seditious part of it in the form of one Armand <laughs> one guy. Morosini. Um, but sometimes one is all you need. And you have, after some wrangling and some contracts signed in blood, uh, you have managed to get the support of what you would presume to be the next five families all on your side in order to overthrow the rule, the tainted rule of Donatella Morosini, Grand Prince of the Ven. Your efforts to do so are like to be discovered if you tarry. So, it was decided that on the very next day, you would be assembling a college of sorts of all of the high town families that you could get to attend at the Conservatory Diva event in order to levy your accusations of tyranny and slavery against Donatella and attempt to force her to step down, realizing that this will almost certainly not work and that you would all be tried for treason if uh, she were to get her grips on you. Um, you also have a second part of your plan to use your various mercenaries hired by Luella um, to run interference, essentially, with the Vivanese army and also lay siege to the Grand pa uh, Prince's Palace so that you can remove her from power directly. Cesare! Yes. Yes. The thought occurs to you. Uh, no. There are currently two issues with your plan. Let me hear them. One is... Presuming that you managed to get Donatella Morosini into your clutches, how do you command her to surrender? Um, or rather, how do you communicate to the Partizani that they should surrender? Surrender. Uh -huh. um, the second issue is Donatella's husband. You know that she, that he, rather, uh, does not typically spend his time with his wife at the Grand uh, Prince's Palace, but rather is safely ensconced deep within the Castel D'Onofrio, which you would have no hope of breaking into and capturing uh -huh. him. So the question becomes, how do you handle both of those issues? Well, okay. Um, have there uh, are oh, there any historical examples of coups in Vivan among the families in the past? Yes. And how did those play out? But typically, it wasn't. There had never been really an armed coup in Vivan since the uh -huh. current order of Grand Princes has established after Vivan. Vivan used to have kings, and then the Liberator came. Uh, murdered them, killed most of the the heads of the five town, uh, the high town families, uh, eliminated slavery, and um, instituted a system of uh, a, a republican system, or a merchant republic, but a, a semi-republican system. It's a republic. You're ruled by laws. That's um, good. Uh, so, okay. There have been instances where. Um, Grand Prince's rules have ended violently, but as via the, the normal way into then they were assassinated. Yes, and then it passes on to... And then there's another election, and then right. their administration handles whatever in order to ensure that the next Grand Prince is elected successfully, and then the new Grand Prince steps up, 
maybe it was the person who assassinated the guy. Maybe it wasn't. So and things go on. The issue being the partisani res, uh, serve the grand prince exclusively, yes. or do they serve the city? The partisani serve the then. Okay. Because we are uh, leveling they... charges against the Grand Prince, and if the Grand Prince refuses to respond to them, then... What if the Grand Prince just pardons herself? She does not have that power. <laughs> <laughs> what, damn? Uh, like, if they... Who who would be the... Who's the Grand Poobah of the Partisani? Uh, they are, well, they're under the command of the Grand Prince, but more directly, uh, they're under the command of the Castellan of, uh, D'Onofrio, of the Castel D'Onofrio. And that is the husband. Correct. I see. Um, well, we can't really flip the husband. It would be difficult. Or can we? Seduce her husband. Yes. Oh, so the Not only destroy her power, but ruin her home. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I unfortunately already used my love potion. <laughs> hey, you just gotta do it. Gotta deal with that natural Shazari charm. That's true. I have a high charisma, <laughs> but that's kind of asking for a lot. Just um, Gadars. Ah, yeah. Gadars dis uh, disguised as Luella. <laughs> I don't know uh, that that's necessary, but yes. Yeah. Is the issue that the Castel? Well, that could work. Castel D'Onofrio is old, and it has had many defenses uh, built onto it, right. and not all of them are made of stone. Some of them are made of magic. Yes, and whether or not uh, Gadars could successfully make his way to, Damn. or make their way rather, to <laughs> Mr. Morosini, is. So we gotta bump both. We gotta bump Donatella, but before we even bump Donatella, we have to bump her husband. <laughs> like, damn, that's a some thick thumps, Nuva. Sorry. This uh, is that. <sighs> oh, ha, I forgot about that. Uh, you'll, uh, just so you know, uh, don't tell the husband that we're talking about. His name is Mario. Um, oh, it is Mario. Yes, it is Mar Mario Morosini. He is, uh, he took Donatella's name. Um, uh -huh. He is uh, his, her second husband, and he is 26 years old. Oh, that's so funny. Um, uh, fiercely loyal. You always thought that he married for power rather than sure, for sure. Oh, um, okay. actual love of Donatella. Maybe we but, should... Is Morosini boy around here? Maybe he would be a good person to talk to about this. Armand has not left yet. Armand. Um, so is that right? Mario. <laughs> My... He's talking to everybody. Uncle by marriage. Yes. Uh, no, excuse me. Um, Grand uncle? No, he's a second cousin, That's but not. But fun. by marriage, so he's really my nothing. I try not to think about it. Um, he will be a problem if he sequesters himself in the Castel di Nofrio and continues... Uh, opposition via the Partizani against us, even should we capture Donatella. That is a good point. If we attempt this first and not deal with him, he will be almost unreachable. So mm. the question then is how do we reach him first? And can he be how can he be finessed? Donatella is the source of, her, of his power. She is the one who put him in his position. I doubt that simply that he would betray her simply out of self-preservation. 
Yes, but if but... she did not exist, then he would not have a source of power. Except that he would be the one in command of the Patazani and... Yes, I if... know. This is the whole thing. We, if all the five families are going and murdering and princes, they have a good place to say, well, okay, this is the end of that system. I'm going to just take over because I have an army and they don't. Yes, but he would be trapped in the Castel Donofrio and the Partizani are skilled and there are many, but there are not that many. Mm. It would get bloody though. It would be preferable if they simply laid down their weapons. I'm just saying that if his game plan is we will wage all out war, it would be something he would eventually lose, but perhaps It could be. I don't know if it would be. He does a number of your forces three to one. Not to mention the Carabinieri who might switch to his side. And the Morosini Houseguard of which (laughs) numbers have been hidden from me. Right. Only Donatella knows. Well, then the question is, what is to be done with him? Well, it would seem we should remove him from the Castel Donofrio, but I am not entirely sure how. He is, is a... a restaurant that he likes. Are there any <laughs> mistresses that he visits? Uh, most come to him. The. Uh... He is an ambitious man. He okay. is... Uh, hmm, how can I put this? Uh, stupid. Yes. Ah, good. In my opinion. He could be trapped. Hmm, what do we offer a man who is stupid but ambitious? Liquor. That his... No. <laughs> no, I think that is for a man who is stupid but not ambitious. Fair enough. A um, business arrangement, a bribe perhaps. I mean, is there anybody who is... What about a promise of position? Even stupid. if we don't follow through with it. Stupid well, but ambitious. A promise of position. We don't want to give away that the coup is about to happen. Instead, we would sooner pretend like, oh, there is, I have dirt on a family member in the, you know, Ftazo household, and I would be willing to sell it to you, uh, and you can use that as leverage over them to yada yada. But you have to meet me at the place that is easy to kidnap you. <laughs> the tavern. Yes. Ah, yes, they kidnap you, Tom. Come, come into, this, into the empty jail cell. <laughs> That's not in the Castel de Nofre. That's the important <laughs> part. Um... Was he so stupid that if we sent him a letter of that nature, he would be like, oh boy, and just leave? Uh, that, that might be a little bit too stupid. <laughs> um, but hmm, he is one of those people who, when you give them an opportunity for personal glory, have difficulty letting it pass by, even if it is elevised. Hmm. I am just trying to give you insight. Would you... Would you say (laughs) that it is an open secret among the Morosini that I am in town? Not an open secret among the Morosini, I guess, but... There is a suspicion, but... Their most recent intelligence of you was that you were out at sea commanding a fleet of uh, pirate ships to assault our uh, eastern trading routes. Okay. Uh, Because we we could, if he's looking for personal glory, a pretty sweet honeypot would be to either let slip that Sada will be at certain location at certain time and have it be a trap for him and make it so that it is 
only he who finds out, so that then it is only he who arrives. Uh, or myself, whichever one is a sweeter part. Oh, wouldn't he, would wouldn't he just send his own dudes if he... He's stupid and he would want his personal glory. He might want to be there to rub it. He is not a coward. I will say that's for him. Uh... But you're right, if he doesn't show up. I mean, we will have to keep a close eye on him as soon as he exits, if he does exit, and make sure that he is, in fact, coming, because if that is not the case, then we need to abandon the trap. And, I mean, and the, no. yes. We have a good means of tracking his movements. I look at Armand. Indeed, it would not be... It would be unsuspicious of me to give him the information in the first place. Well then, we just need to pick a particularly good, not too obvious ambush point. Mm. And then I suppose the question is, do we capture him or do we just kill him? Preferably, probably capture. Probably capture. So kill, on, kill only on like last resort? Yeah, uh, but I should be clear, last resort. <laughs> wait, right, right. What, what is the likelihood that this is a person that would, if we corner him, would probably off himself? Probably hmm. not much. Uh, if he is this ambitious, he is probably also interested in self-preservation. Preservation. Fair enough. Just wanted to make sure it's like... Yes, if you see him reach for a pill in his pocket, I mean, I guess try and get him. Oh. What if it's not a suicide pill? What if it's like... Dragon oh, yes. pill? Dagger of the beast that rides. <laughs> <laughs> I don't what think that I work anymore, no? Um, if I may. Yes? This may seem risky, but... There is a place that both Sata and yourself are going to be tomorrow. Oh... You mean the college? La Conservatory, yeah. La Conservatory, yeah. Wait, why are we going to be both? Oh, no, there? that was La uh, That was my saying the with yes, uh, yes. the French uh, conservatory and then the word, yeah, as in affirmative. Yeah. Uh, we'll be there because we have to make the charges against Donatella. Oh, yeah. In a yes, public yes. place that also doesn't put us in such a position as to be immediately captured. Yes. Although apparently you're suggesting that we do make it so that we could potentially be captured. If he thinks that it is just going to be you, the heads of the families, and some adventurers who... I can assure him are not of a special quality. Hey. You may not take particular. Obviously, it would be a lie. I am aware of your potential for murder. Um. You should have seen Vampire. That dude loved to kill. Um. <laughs> So I've been told. Yeah. <laughs> well, the issue being, if he does decide to come with a lot, or if he doesn't come himself, then we would have to abandon the um, the accusation. Although, I suppose in order to summon people, we would have to broadcast it so he would find out in some way sooner or later. Yes. So, telling him early, having him show up with a much less significant force that he might have marched out with otherwise. Oh, I'm going to be so sweaty before I deliver these accusations. <laughs> I'm sure we will find a way of freshening you up. I, you know, nothing a, a disguise check can solve. Mm. Dear. <laughs> Yeah, it's in my disguise kit. <laughs> yeah, it's just a pair. It's just like a Dove bar. It's, and... it's Old Spice, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. 
We so, how would you like to actually do the ambush? Well, we would should... you like to do it further away from the conservatory or simply at the gates? Or It really sort of depends on where he is arriving from. I would be able to give you uh, information in that regard, I think. And then it also sort of depends on how many he brings. Because if it's like 30 dudes, then then it changes, obviously. Uh, it's not like we can b- dig a big pit in the conservatory and have him stand on it. Hmm. <laughs> Kasumi's chin stroking. Water pits. From my estimation, if it takes 30... Caribbean, if he takes 30 Patizani with him, you've proven yourself to be other exceptional fighters. Yes. Um, I do not believe it would be a good look for us. Or maybe it would be. The Morosini's desperately trying to uh, do a cover-up before everything is blown open. Hmm. I guess my my question is: Is it before or after the allegations that we should have him arrive and have him be captured? To be honest, his attempting to do a cover up could be exactly what he was doing. I could simply tell him that we are at risk of being discovered. All of our dirty secrets are about to be opened, including our dirtiest, which he is involved in, would compel him to intercede. Uh, That would risk him bringing even more men. Mm. But perhaps if he has too little time, he would be in a rush. Yes, it does take time to mobilize the partisans. Um... Then, yes, I think uh, luring him out with our accusation and capturing him should be the play. Uh, Hopefully, he is foolish, as you say, and if he is not, All of our allies will be there, hopefully new ones as well. Uh, We can attempt to flee and disperse should too many be coming. Uh, And snipe him on our way out. How does this sound to everyone? I mean, yeah, that sounds reasonable. Uh... It is a lot of eggs in the air. Is that an expression? Yeah. Uh, Because we will also be needing to mobilize the mercenaries at the same time. I don't That is something that I think we should be doing immediately. But that is your business. Don't let me tell you what to do. We are presently. The only... You know, this does work because if he arrives, one one of my concerns was that we deliver these allegations to Donatella uh, and then time is of the essence for us to strike. And she instead chooses to drag things out uh, legally. And by that means entrenching herself and keeping herself from being captured. But... It will be obvious then if, as the allegations are delivered, a Morosini force attempts to silence the entire proceeding, would be pretty immediately clear that Donatella has refused the summons and we can begin with our uh, legal coup. Yes, the old legal coup. Coup. Mm-hmm. Only to say that it would be clear that she has uh, 
chosen to uh, break the law. Right, right, of course. We have merely arrived and made our allegations, and it was not illegal to do so, and they have to be answered. And in response, Donatella has sent her thugs to silence us, including some of the most respected people in the then members of the five families. Therefore, she has made her position and must be stopped. And therefore, we must then, quote unquote, big wink to Kasumi, mobilize all of our mercenaries. For the sake of the democracy of the event, of course. For the sake of the... Uh, this isn't a lie. For the sake of the democracy of the event, of course. Yeah. Oh, republic. Yes. yes, republic. I mean, certainly. Oligoblic. You can have an oligarchical republic. Republiarchy. Yes, I know, I know. Anyway. Mm. Uh, okay. I mean, can you imagine if everyone got a vote? It would be insane. People without property voting, it's crazy talk. The uneducated. What, <laughs> what investment do they have in the future of the yes. city? They are only leeches. Q just stares at all of you. It's a joke. It's for the doing it for the good of event. Maybe we'll do some electoral reform. I, I wink at. Uh... That's just sorry. I yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. Armand chuck, chuckles into his wine glass. I. Um, so, how do you want to do this? Well, what well. does hmm. place like? Let's take it out. We should also inform. Uh, should we inform them? They'd probably feel bad. They probably wouldn't like it that we told them that we've set up an ambush in the place where we're going to lay allegations. So we won't. Yeah, um, let's uh, leave this one. Up to them. <laughs> they can be surprised. If they're not, they're not idiots. They'll bring their own guards. They know that this is risky business. Mm -hmm. um, not enough to be threatening, of course. <clears throat> Just enough to be threatening. We have the book of crime. Uh, the Here stuff from Armand and also the bank account. Uh, you should collect um, Mr. Cassini. Uh, Let's collect him. I blow the horn of Cassini. <laughs> Cantini, excuse me. Cantini. Uh, Makes the Cantina band sound. Yes. Uh, no, okay. Um, yes. Uh, Agrippa very quickly has... Senor Giovanni Catini in your clutches. Great. Um, clutches. It's a weird way to put our, it. But... Our hospitality. <laughs> yes, that too. Yes. Um, Catini it has been has not been made aware of what you're planning. No. And so it just arrives. He's he's clutching the book to his chest like it's his life, and just is like looking back and forth you can see the sweat like beating onto his forehead he was bustled here very quickly and not told what was going on <laughs> um and he's uh is is everything uh, uh, what is going on everything is going just swell and you have nothing to worry about however we will have need of your book within i check like a timepiece uh 12 hours oh you are uh, in the end game. <laughs> We're in the end game now. I'm gonna disappear. Where? Where did she go? <laughs> Where was she? Oh never... I don't think she ever really was here. Maybe the soda was always in my heart. Yes, Where we've collected her? all five families and we've put them into the Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> Infinity <laughs> Bank. Well, Should have my... gone for the head. That's what Donatella <laughs> says. Oh no! <laughs> and then I said. Then we had my time skip. The Vivanese family of space, of time, of I forget what the other ones are. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You got it. <laughs> oh no! He Hell died. yeah! First time we've killed Nubis since he's been back. <laughs> um, I've been having like asthma attacks because of the fall, you know. So you will be our guest here for the night. Um, 
Please make yourself comfortable uh, and you will be called upon to present your evidence. Thank you. You're, you are welcome, I suppose. And he has found a room. Um, and yes, you have the books that you have gotten from the library. You have the uh, papers that you have gotten from Armand, the most damning evidence, and the also corroborating evidence from the bank. You've got a lot of evidence. It's His... pretty clear the Marasinis have been slave trading. Yeah, have we uh, begun Operation Those Two Guys Talking Shit in Lowtown? Oh, yeah. Though that You began that, like, days ago. Excellent. Um, we'll bring them in, too. Uh, yeah. Which they're not uh, dead already. No, Agrippa report has reported that they're still alive. He can go collect them if you need. Um, be good for them to come in, and maybe like a mob of peasants, too, chanting outside that they've ra- uh, rallied up. Um, he doesn't know if he can assemble a mob of peasants on such short notice, but uh, he, he thinks that at this point, um, popular support for uh, overthrowing Donatella would probably, if it's not like a majority of people immediately, right. that majority could, or that minority can start quickly informing the re- your uh, rumor and your getting out the news of Donatella's crimes is starting to percolate of course. and spread throughout the city. Um, I just mean by um, osmosis. those two have been going around telling their business to the people of Lowtown. If they then begin their march towards the conservatory to like, because they hear that allegations are formally being made, they would probably be able to get some of these people that they've kind of whipped up or spoken to, to follow them like this. Crowd oh yeah. Towards. Oh yeah. No, that, that is, is what I would. Yeah. Okay. Um, well then, let's, uh, let's bring you to a different page. Um, uh, it's so, a different page. It's the map of event. They are working with, uh, by the way, Tomb, thank you for outlining it in, uh, black, but, um, oh, unfortunately, I didn't your version, it. yeah. Your, I, just, I, just put a, yeah I, just, I just put a, like a preview up. I meant to do more, but never got around to it. That's okay. Yeah. Um, I, I think you can see. Uh, yeah. pretty well. I was just like showing um, you what I had gotten done so far. Sorry, I didn't think to put it up the whole thing. <laughs> no, no, it's, it, don't <laughs> worry about it at all. My shoes are falling apart. I oh, need no. to get new ones. Um, is this is this Zombie Island? Or maybe yeah. I'll just glue this. Uh, which yes, that that is Lisola uh, della Morte. All right, um, we gotta send all the mercenaries there, guys. Wait. You don't want to do that. What? Every, everything is canals? Yes, everything is canals. It's like, how, wow, I did not realize that it's just like... I'm guessing there's some bridges Low here Lowtown is see, a tremendous right? amount of canals. Yes, there are bridges that are not drawn in. Yes. Uh, it's just basically, like 100 where, islands. <laughs> yeah. Um, there, there is uh, a low town that is attached to the actual like walls of the lagoon, yeah, these, which are part, sort right? of built on beaches and then built outward from them. Um, but other than that, there it's just a masses of both like islands that have been formed out of atolls, islands that already exist in the lagoon already, and just places where the Vivanese have driven pilings into the lagoon and built on top of it. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, it's 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 a teeming warrant. I mean, there are uh, there are minor canals in I that I have not drawn in I within agree. those islands. Um, Where that, like you can only get like a gondola through. Nova, Nova. Sorry. Attack, attack, attack. That big keyboard. Sorry. Hey, why can't I find the number one? Why can't I find the Palace of the Grand Prince? Can somebody ping it? Oh, it's right, right it's here. Right here. It oh, that's. Over, it. I thought that was looks, a two. It looks over the gr- the gr- all the grotto. Oh, uh, I thought that was a two, and I thought that was uh, the market. I was like, nope, oh, that's a good place for the market. <laughs> I I'll see. Stop that now. Yes, the Palace of the Grand Prince is partially built out over the lagoon. Yes. It's basically mm. spend, suspended up there yeah. by so magic. So it looks cool. It does look cool. It's it's a, it's a beautiful building. It's one of the like if it's one of those places that like explorers and historians go and adventures throughout Locust. They 
when they visit Raven, and if they visit the palace of the Grand Prince, they'll spend some time writing about it because it is actually a rather extraordinary yeah. building. It not really have not, not, for, not for long. We're gonna one up the champions. We're gonna take down the entire palace. Uh, that would be gonna send, bad. You would all fall two thousand feet into the lagoon. Um, <laughs> which would crash into the lagoon. I can think of worse things. To do. Oh, the conservatory is all the way there. Yes. That is as far away from Low Town as you can be. Almost, yes. It's on the north side of the arch. Um, looking out over the ocean. Well, they can march up the steps. Oh, a uh, building that I've been forgetting to not point out is this. That's yeah, the arsenal. arsenal. It's right next to us. Hopefully it doesn't shoot us. Ah, yeah. um, it probably will not shoot at the conservatory. The, most of its weapons are pointed out towards yeah, the ocean. That's what they ask. Um, okay. But there is a garrison there. Uh -huh. Are these huge gates or are they just walls? Oh, those are those are jetties. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, those are just uh, built big rock jetties that have been built out into the ocean to break waves going into the arch. Cool. cool. What is... So you noted uh, some things. The Castel Montessori, what is that? Does that, like, they teach kids? Castel Montessori is the headquarters of the Dottores. I see. So that was one and two. Um, the Arcane Collegium is the place that uh, got Sada in trouble. Yeah, that's in the conservatory. Yes. So and they'll be right there. It's the Temple of Olivia's Orum. They're at the market. You don't know anybody that worships those folks. <coughs> well, you uh, know that uh, the Donatella Morosini has as her hierophant a uh, lucre priest of considerable she considerable has a power. Hierophant? Well, not she has as a mythic dude. No. Um, oh. it's, a, it's just the title of the position. It's like okay. her priest. <laughs> Thank God we were fucking screwed. I know what Hierophant can do. <laughs> yes, the, the mythic disintegrates you all. Oh, um, no. Not I yet. see. So they might not be super thrilled. Mm -hmm. The Dottores... Uh, we got Hajime on the inside. He'll work his magic off screen. <laughs> And a dragon. Yes. Hajime's dragon friend is actually with, did come with you and is chilling out with Hajime in Castel Montessori. Wait, really? Perfect. Yes. Yes. Then oh. uh, we sent out a message to Hajime. Hey, Hajime, we're doing a coup. Please make sure that the Tories are all chill about it. And then he throws, he throws it into the garbage. And he's just like, ah, fuck. Um, well, if you're using sending to do that, then you get a response back. Um, no. <laughs> <sighs> okay. That's it. I guess I'll see what I can do. That's okay. <laughs> Maybe I can, like, freeze up the gates or something. But... Quick, quick, put Koshal Straza on the line. <laughs> Koshal Straza. Cannot Koshul... get on the line. It's ascending. Okay. Uh. Well, when he shows up, write down like a memento kind of uh, post-it note for Koshal Straza, uh, saying that the Morosinis are doing slavery and we have to stop them, so we cannot allow the Datores to side with them. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. No, I'll just do it, Mike, and then I think it cuts out. <laughs> slavery, you say? Um. So yeah. Uh, and the uh, Castel Montes. Oh, so that was that. The Arcane Collegium. Eh, you don't really have friends there. We kind of actually explicitly have enemies now. Well, we just but have like that a, one proctor. <laughs> we have a mean teacher. Uh, she, but she just they... doesn't like Sada. And to be fair, Sada did break the rules. That's right. The rules are bullshit. Well, the Morosinis have broken the biggest rule of all, so... <laughs> that is true. Bada bing, bada boom. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't uh, draw in where the Andino Palace is, but it is in the Elven Quarter. The Elven Quarter, 11. I see. That's for the, that's for the, the entire quarter. 
Well, it's not just elves living there, but it's where a lot of elves have settled and they have sort of affected the architecture there. Ah. So what if what if it, what if it was just called the Elven Quarter was actually populated by? Where are the five? I don't know. Five. I see. Goblins. <laughs> five, six, ten. That'd probably be bad for the city in general. <laughs> what if they're all like really like digni dignified goblins? They all like Darn. wear top hats and drink tea. There. Yeah. Are what if? What literally. If? <laughs> uh, none of those. Um. Well, hey, if wishes we were fishes. Uh, you will gonna... eventually explore the nature of goblins on Logos, I'm sure. Yes. But in a future not campaign. Good. It's not good for them. It's not good for you. <laughs> Grimio Palace is pretty close. Grimio Palace is actually in the way of the Fatazas and the. Yes, and I should note something about the Grimio Palace. Um, the the uh, Fatazo Palace, the Morsini Palace, the Lovico, the Sensi Palace, the outer line of that of that section that is like the extent of the grounds. That's a, there's like a a, a wall or yeah. fencing around it, and then that inner. Uh, like square and rectangle is the actual building or yes. main building and the Grimio palace is the opposite mm -hmm. that outer uh square is the extent of the building itself and that smaller square inside is an inner courtyard so the Grimio palace is really big you can fit uh, a lot of things in it and nobody is quite sure what exactly is inside dogs. however when you were in there they had lots of guards that yeah. just basically kept flooding you if you remember <laughs> yeah, they also had a secret underwater thing. Well, it wasn't up. underwater, but it, it did go into uh, beneath the arch. Yeah, which is. I thought they had like a little secret shipping grotto. It wasn't shipping. Um, no, like shipping and receiving. No, it wasn't. It was just like a puddle. It. It was a. Um... Well, yeah, you, you could go down eventually and reach the actual, like, docks underneath the arch. Uh-huh. Um, but, uh, yeah, I was thinking of where the sewer, uh, the water drain in it let out, and that was uh, up for the, uh, the arch. I see. Um, Sorry, it's been a while since that happened. Yes, it was, like, the third session. <laughs> it was, like, the fifth, sixth, I don't know. We were in um... Oh, these fucking grand meals. It's going to be a problem. Maybe. Maybe what if, what just if ignore we, what's going on. What if, maybe what they'll be just, super chill about it. What if we just it? went to the Grimio estate and pushed it off the, off the archway? <laughs> it's, it's literally in the middle of it. And also, it's a building like as hey. large as the temple of, Pol of Olivia's Orm. I think, so I think we can do it. Okay. It's really um, big. <laughs> Where is the Castel Donofrio? There it is, eight. So he's going to be coming from there. Yeah, it's all of that, by the way. All of those little yeah. dots? Damn. Those are all towers. Big old, big old military jail prison. Uh -huh. I don't face. I don't know. It's all Damn, that it's place. Just, tough. It's just a regular military jail prison base. Yep, it's all of those so, things. So we... Mm, we need to stop Donatella from also fleeing to the Castel Donofrio. What if what if we just got a giant saw and cut off the Castel Donofrio from the archway? Uh, we will Kasumi. file that under yes. very serious suggestions. <laughs> yes. A concern if if Donatella has sufficient reason to fear for her safety at the palace of the Grand Prince. If she may f flee to the Castel Donofrio, and it will become substantially harder to do anything about her, do we have some means of like cutting off that line of retreat? Although then, like that sandwiches be us between the Grand Prince and all of the fucking dudes at the Castel wow. Donofrio. Basically, we have to act fast, but we also like we can't let Donatella. I mean. If we were to station troops on the major byways, they're here once everything started, then mm -hmm. 
it'd be much harder for her to get through. I, I can't promise anything. Yeah. I don't even know if there's like if, if there's secret tunnels, there very well might be. Um, yeah, that's true. But um, I mean, I, there I, almost I, certainly are. But whether or not you could successfully move troops in any like substantial number through them. Is oh, I mean, I'm just worried about not troops, troop movement, but uh, oh, Donatella like Donatella running Donatella down movement. a tunnel and yeah. running directly to the Castel Donofrio. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that would once be again, what I, I would do. Again, I present the Bugs Bunny solution of just cutting it off with a giant handsaw. We don't have a handsaw that big. Damn. We don't have a man big enough to hold it. Damn it. Um. <laughs> if only we saw a bat bear, he could have held that giant handsaw. Yeah, he'd have to climb up onto the moon and use a <laughs> that far in order for it to work. <laughs> He's not a rabbit, though. <laughs> um, this might be a stupid question, but yes. in my defense, I wasn't paying attention. What kind of forces are in the Castel Donofrio right now? Less than, but at maximum, there are 18,000 uh, soldiers in the Vivanese army, and the vast majority barracked in the castell um there are like 4500 of them spread throughout the city at any given time manning the various towers uh manning these two fortresses down here manning the arsenal um but they're diffused um they're just soldiers they're not they're not necessarily especially beholden to donatello donatello uh, they're loyal to Vivent, presumably. Um, so if we can cut off the dude, yeah. If if like Vivent is suddenly under the command, uh, if they're comp if they're compellingly convinced that okay, Donatella's rule is actually like, mm -hmm. um, invalid invalid and uh we're you know doing the normal thing we're having an election yada yada also she's been either arrested or killed um maybe some of them would keep, try to keep fighting but you would doubt that like the vivanese army would be an issue for very long so try to do a military coup but then like if there's uh, a big army opposing them keeping them from doing so or even a small army. Uh, they might hold back. Yes. Uh, I, uh, I should note, High Town is very difficult to attack. Huh? It's a warren of streets. Um, it's all elevated, uh, going towards the center. Um, invading Viven, specifically High Town, is a nightmare, including for its own army. So the idea for the Vivanese commanders, if like Hightown has already like switched sides, they're probably not going to just like waste men throwing people, throwing them into a meat grinder, trying to take down a government that's, as far as they can tell, just as uh, legitimate as the last one. Okay, uh, who's the second in command after Mario dies or is captured? Uh, there are several sub commanders. Okay. Um, they're spread throughout the city. Ha like okay. Because ideally, that guy makes the call of saying, like, no, we will not keep this wanted. Uh, this There is a most senior one. Uh, you're not sure who it is okay. at this time. But he would presumably take the uh, command of the army on an interim basis, and he would be making the call. So that guy or woman, you're not sure, uh, you would have to convince We'll need to find them. But um, otherwise, I think we have largely what it is that we plan to do. Conservatory. We don't really have time to like visit the Grimios and be like, hey, doing a Support coup. us. <laughs> or else. Um, and they are also going to be present at the conservatory. So. Yes. You presume. Hopefully, Roberto if they Grimio, if, sure, if, sure. if they see the rest of the families, except for the Morassinis, uh, 
agree to this, then hopefully they follow suit. Uh, especially if the Morosinis try and silence us and they see us put down that attempt as kind of like, oh, this is like a competent operation. So that is important as far as optics go. If we scatter, the Gremios will be less likely to throw in their support because it's be like, uh, I don't know where the winds are going. Uh, and then we need to find the second in command guy and convince or bewitch him in some means and get him to not accept Donatella should she attempt to flee to the castell or at least hold back his troops. Uh, and then, you know, bada bing, bada boom, mercenary attack strike, mob from the blow town. Shit's just going to have to come together. <laughs> yes. Where would you like that mob to go? Well, because you need to tell right? Agrippa to tell them yeah. now. Uh, well, yeah, so but they could be led by. Um... Yeah, so the two guys, I would want them to basically be walking towards the conservatory. Um, and I guess then the question is just like, which steps would they take? Sir Joseph is Sir Joseph Eben and Snap are the two people you're talking about. Sir Joseph and Snap, probably, probably on the side of the mm-hmm. Castel D'Onofrio, and um, so. Here I can ping it. Like here, mm-hmm. uh, because in, more bodies in High Town would like prevent reinforcements from the cat. It's true. And also, the soldiers might just have like be reticent about just straight up murdering yeah. a bunch of not rioting but angry low towners. Mm-hmm. So that if is they were like, rioting, they'd probably have an issue. But everybody riot. All right, so it is growing late. <laughs> um, you have a night. I sleep. Um, z, 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 z. Is there anything you guys would like to do during this last night before you have a bit of a reckoning? Uh, what would I do? Uh, I I draw my own logo <laughs> for for my for my private military. You don't have perform, so just make a flat charisma roll. Charisma? <laughs> yeah. Can I try and draw something? I also wouldn't, wouldn't it be a craft check? Also, I have to ask, am I... Yeah, I suppose it would be. Is there a reason that I have... Oh, there it is. Never mind. I'm trying to remember who Edric Vienno is. <laughs> it's his uh, it's friend. Yes. The wizard that sees people naked. <laughs> <laughs> Who did? Yes. Yeah. You can't um, tell me he's not doing it now. He can't anymore. That was a limited ability. Charisma. <laughs> How bad is it? Uh, he rolled a three plus a three. Yes. <laughs> oh, uh, you draw not... like a little stick guy holding a sword. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got like an angry eyebrow. I am not drawing that, by the way. <laughs> I just want to tell you ahead that's of time. The south. <laughs> so that's what you draw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's art. I stare at it and I say, "Wow, I'm good." <laughs> we, roll, we need to make me have a. Have, have Akio roll a wisdom save to see if he's actually wise enough to realize this looks dumb as hell. To be fair, uh, no, you can just there choose. Were, <laughs> there were a private military and that was their logo. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. All right, I'm gonna make a thousand shirts. Mm-hmm. Gonna put it on a thousand flags. You draw, you draw a shield with two eyes above it to represent always vigilant. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm good. <laughs> Yeah. 
Well, I'll show these to the guys tomorrow. They'll be that's, really that's impressed. Outer heaven, baby. There it is. You can tell it's heaven because there's a smile. Distant sanctuary. <laughs> that's right. Oh. Um, but yes. <laughs> so that's what Akio does. Spends hours. Um, Sada, what do you do? Hmm. I, I don't. The I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're still in the Sensei Mansion, right? Right now. We we are. Okay. Or you are. Yes. I'm not. I'm in my apartment. <laughs> well, why aren't you physically in the Sensei Mansion, Sal's, in real life? Because I have not yet mastered the ability to make my imagination substantive. Uh-huh. What? Right, nerd. <laughs> what was that word you said? Substantive. Come on, dude. Yeah. I Oh, so, okay. Use context clues. Substance. Well, I, I'm asking because I also didn't hear the word. I just heard Tiv. I'm like, what? Ah. Made it so, Hmm. You know, I guess we already have most of this uh, this stuff figured out. Since so Imagine has a pretty big library, right? It does. Yeah. I want to do some research for when we get back to Hadno afterwards. <laughs> so I was like, ah, this is already figured out. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, right, I already know my part. Research. I want to look into the Verdant Groves. Okay. Um. All right. Uh, if there's any info here. Do you have... You can make a knowledge planes check, um, even untrained. Okay. By using a library, because, well, there's a bunch of books. Um, so it's just a matter of finding the book that you need and uh, trying to research it. So um, the Sensi library is fairly extensive, so it's actually giving you a bonus to your check, so you can just make one. All right. Let's see how I roll. I have a zero. Oh, an eight. Okay. Um, so with the Sensi Library's bonus, that is a ten. Um, so you don't find a, an exceptional lot. You find a, a book on, um, like, religion in the Anno Fortissimus. Uh, and it has very much a uh, champion god's um, uh, tilt. Yeah. So it's a little biased. Yeah. It's probably written by a worshiper, you would presume. Um and you look you paging through it, you you have pretty long like uh, write outs on the uh uh various um champion gods. But mostly like what they are and what they um desire. And there are like a small passage on it for each for um their planes of existence. Eventually, you do find the Vernon Groves and you, uh, Polonius and the Vernon Groves. His chapter is relatively short. Um, it's mostly warnings. Yeah. Uh, and the Vernon Groves um, is described as the most uh, non hostile of the realms of evil gods. The Vernon Groves is actually positively delightful to visit. Uh, Too in delightful. This place, in this place, you will want for nothing. Food grows from trees, uh, and the plane itself. Trees. Well, f uh, fully ready to like eat, uh, fully cake. prepared. There's a cake tree. <laughs> yes, no. There, there, you will find cakes growing in growing in trees, lakes and waterfalls of wine, rivers of honey. Um, the animals will happily uh, <laughs> the burst animal... into fully cooked meats. <laughs> I was to say the animal will um, come over and, and cook itself. It'll just uh, bring it a barbecue that's... and cut it to, yeah, like a, cut a, a prime chunk off. Of no, stuff. instead of pigs, they're just like walking Dude, things of bacon. <laughs> um, Does the bacon eat what pigs eat? Because that would be a problem. Um, there are pleasure pavilions, palaces of tents, uh, and all manner of all the most tempting things that you can imagine. And that's where the uh, peril of the plane lies. Uh. Do not partake of the verdant groves riches. Do not eat. 
of its foods, do not drink of its libations, or else you will be bound there, tempted and unable to tear yourself away from the pleasures you are indulging in until you die. Mm. Damn. Also, it's filled with succubi, <laughs> and they will just fuck you up in, in the different ways. Literally. Sometimes. <laughs> Alright. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, hey, good to have some knowledge, because we're probably going to have to go there once we get back to Haddon now. But again, that's just very basic knowledge of yeah. the Verdant Groves. There's no like, li- uh, there's no write out. It's basically it just don't go here. It's bad. Yeah. Um. There's no write out of various points or parts or powers, unfortunately. Mm. Well, get myself psyched up for for rebellion tomorrow. More rebellion. More rebellion. It's like all you do. That's pretty much all all we do. Uh, Suru, what are you doing? I don't know. I guess just going to sleep. I was thinking about it. Okay. That sleeping? really makes sense. So. No, honestly, sleeping is perfectly uh, reasonable at this point. You want to be well rested. You're, going, you're probably going to have to be fighting people tomorrow. Um, and as much as that's something that you enjoy, you want to like be prepared for it. Um, you get a bonus for sleeping well, eight hours. You get a not negative bonus for not being fatigued. Um... Hell yeah. Akio, what are you doing? Oh, wait, you were drawing. Never mind. Uh, oh, Kasumi. Oh, my drawings. Kasumi. Yep. What are you doing? Uh, I was going to use my time before bed to try to see if I could find any, uh, I don't know, maps of sewer systems of Hightown and where entry points and exit points might be for okay. purposes of my plan. Well, you can, yeah, you can research alongside Sada. There are plenty of books in the Sensei Library. Um, so uh, why don't you give me a knowledge engineering check? You can use it untrained again. Um, and uh, you t- uh, just tell me what you're rolling. You're getting a plus two. Okay. Real dice. Uh, yeah, I brought out my dice. Uh, okay. I haven't had the tactile sensation of rolling dice in a while, and I want to. Knowledge engineering plus two? Also, I don't have to worry about um, making sure that they're GM rolls. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. That'd be a 14. Okay. Well, that's not so bad. Um, you find a... I mean, the Sensees don't have like full engineering maps of Hightown, but you do find a um, book on the history of it, and it does delve into how uh, a bit how um, the Vens, uh or Hightown's sewers, such as they are, are set up. It's basically all just pipes and tubes leading down into Lowtown. Um, more important that it focuses more on are the cisterns, which I will pick out on this map. And the cisterns are important because they collect the rainwater (coughs) that provides fresh water, fresh water for the entire city, not just Hightown. Because of Hightown's elevation, the water it can flow down from the cisterns to fountains and uh, and uh, wells down in Lowtown, which would otherwise have no water because it's all salt water, and there are no rivers at Viven. Yeah, there. Uh, the only reason Viven was actually settled in the first place, and your book actually does say this, um, is because the a lot of these cisterns existed existed naturally. There were natural collection points cool. for fresh water. Is um, there not just a magic way to desalinate water? I guess like water there there, there is, is. Like, connected to the uh, elemental plane of water. But yeah. Okay. So beneath each of those are all manner of pipes leading down away from them. Um, there are a, also a few 
emergency overflow pipes. So, like, if a cistern starts risking overflowing, uh, it will instead just go into the regular sewers to mix with the regular effluent and go down into the water in case there's, like, a tremendous uh, rainstorm or something and we, there's a desire not to get over full. Um, Nuva, we can hear everything that you're doing in your room. Are you building a house? Sorry, again, I forget to mute. Mm. Um, but yeah. Uh, so, yes. Um, you also know that these cisterns have additional pipes connected to the effluent uh, sewers to drain them in case they are, like, uh, contaminated with something. Or in case, you know, someone's trying to sneak up through the sewers, you can flood them. This has actually been done once before in Vivens', Vivens history. Wait, what would happen? Poison? No, you just no. flood them. There was a rebellion in Low Town, and rebels attempted to reach High Town instead of by the steps by going up through the sewers. They were discovered, and uh, the High Towners emptied two of the cisterns into the sewers that they were um, trying to make their way up, and they drowned. Oh, well, that's not a. That's we shouldn't do that. Uh, also, I'm going to tell you who hey. is controlling Paulina for the day. What if we breathe underwater, though? That's right. Um, that Paulina. is fruit. Oh. Did you, did you, You're did you decide that with dice? Yeah. What number am I? You are number three. Why am I not number eight? <laughs> Six, seven, I mean, five? you don't know what number he rolled in the first place. I rolled a d4. <laughs> Oh. Well, yeah, why wasn't Nuva number eight? There's five players. <laughs> there was, but I was specifically told to exclude Jake. Oh, yeah. I remember that now. Yep. A wise choice. <laughs> Listen, I would play it with all of the love and care. I'm sure. We'll never know, and I don't <laughs> believe you. <laughs> I do not appreciate the, this attack on my character. Kasumi's Anyways, fine. it's you. Um, I will oh, be uh, modify okay. my plan accordingly to be like, hey, cisterns, the doy, brothers and cisterns. <laughs> I pretend I was the dog from BoJack. I don't know what that means. Hey, right. what does that do? Mr. Peanut you? butter. Yeah, I'd be Mr. Peanut Butter, but Paulina. Oh. Well. Um, anyway, Fruit, you now have Paulina's character sheet in your... Ooh, ah, oh, all the secrets. Today. All the secrets. All her crushes. Ah. She has kept a diary. Ah. And then she, for some reason, she added a feat, which is just all of her thoughts about everyone. <laughs> What does she think about Akio? Awful. Oh. Yeah. Stinky. Uh, it says right oh. here under... Totally in love with Chizari. Thinks Chizari is great. Yeah. Uh, cool. Wow. There's a lot in this sheet. It might be, a, it might be awful, but I take a shower. Yeah, yeah, Brita fun. keeps her sheet very... Um... Has she ever used a dust form? Once. Yeah. She just got it. Yeah. That's ah, she used it during the last fight. Oh, God. Oops. We've, we've done it. This event has been separated by a giant thing of water. A swath of destruction all the way across high top. <laughs> um, but yes. Uh, all right, so... Oh god, what have I done? I can't see any of her skills anymore. I deleted her skills. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. Oh my god, that Siam defeats Al's. <laughs> That's um, a lot of dice. That's so many I, dice! I, I was just moving them. <laughs> also, I was rolling them to... Uh, to uh, I was rolling damage against uh, Chazari. Um, Stealth! Stealth, are we going to find out that you have a problem by the end of this? Huh? <laughs> Collecting too many dice. That you I have do not... Like... 
You no, haven't. I, I have a personal dice bag, and then I have a dice bag that you've seen before. Cloth. Oh, she makes cloth. Does she? Well, she made sixteen cloth. Whoa. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess she knows how to stitch. Hell yeah. And then she break dances on. Yep. yep. <laughs> I want to break dance. Come on down. Should okay. Perform break dance. I didn't, didn't know it was an option. Um, Pal probably would spend her time with uh, the Pazos and. Oh no. What's her what? boyfriend's name? Pascal. Pascal. Uh, given that tomorrow is a dangerous day and the Fatazas are involved, and I don't disagree. Um, so, oh, sorry, good. Uh, it's just a question of whether um she would do it at the Fatazo Mansion, um, or if she would do it at the Sensei Man uh, Palace. I guess you um, want to keep the party together, but like I feel like last day, I probably want to spend some time with her. Well, that's the thing. Uh, Pascal is more a hanger on to her. That's true. So maybe he's at the Sensei Manor? Alright. Everybody at Sensei Manor. Oh, well, hell yeah. Those sunglasses. Uh, and I don't know. She might like be concerned about the safety of the people. So... Whatever she can do to achieve those ends. Breakdance. Breakdance, yeah. Okay. So. Um, the night falls. Oh, I never, found, uh, never asked Chazari. Chazari, what are you doing? Uh, I mean, Chazari's probably pretty nervous about all this. I suppose what he would be doing... He's fleeing the vent. <laughs> um, already I, I fake my own death. Okay. Um, uh, looking into that, who, who would be the most likely to take over should Mario get uh, removed in some manner, and how to uh, influence them, I guess. I don't All know right. if you'll we'll be sleeping too much tonight. All right. Um, if you don't sleep, I I'll mean, be, you, I'll be tired. I know. You'll be fatigued. Well, I won't fatigue myself. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, one second. One second, one second, one second. Um. Da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. There's a thing that I have. Uh, Should have checked this earlier. What kind of condition is fatigue? Uh, a bad one. Yeah. It oh, inflicts a lot of negatives. Oh, it's not on this list. Dang it. Okay, then I can't. So yes, I will take. I will sleep. Okay. Um, you could research that one person if you want to. Yes, so. I would like to. What do you want me to roll for? It? Um. Just uh, roll gather information, so diplomacy. What person? Oh, that's a great thing for me to roll. <laughs> uh, the se- the most senior subcommander. Don't mind if I do. Let's see. Well. Okay. You ask Agrippa, and he knows. Oh, yes, that uh, is... Uh... <laughs> my, my powers of diplomacy know no end. <laughs> that is uh, Commander Liara Baria. Liara uh, How long has he been with them? And uh, she, where do his? How long is, has she been with them? And where? Do... A career soldier. Uh, she, she is, I believe, 
in her early 50s. Okay. Um, and she... So she's done their multiple grand princes? She has. She's been in the Padazani for... Who promoted her to her current position? All I want to know is, was it Donatella? <laughs> no. Good. Or Mario, that is. It was not Mario either. I'm trying to think of... Let me see. She, current position. So she has been a sub-commander for... Oh. Uh, actually, no. She would have been uh, promoted by Donatella, yes. Oh. Damn it. All right, so that gives her some it. amount of loyalty to her. <laughs> What if we well, offer her a promotion? <laughs> well, we can't offer her a promotion if we're not in power yet. So, where is she normally? Where will she be tomorrow? Okay, at the time of the coup, that sound you might have just heard was me rolling it. Um, she actually will be, it will be her quarter of the Parzani who will be manning the um, walls and arsenal and fortresses surrounding Vivend. So she will be out in the city somewhere. Okay. Congratulations. Your one in four chance came up probably best for you. That's nice. Do we want her to be at the proceedings? That uh, She'd probably side with her commander first before turning, so maybe not. Or maybe yes, if I can get to her first and... Hmm. What level is she? <laughs> you don't know because that is a numerical abstraction that does not exist. Okay, how... Fucking... What innuendo can I use here? What? Innu like not in a sexual way, an innuendo isn't always sexual. You know, you know, oh. but he can he's he's always got his mind in the gutter. In the gutter. I've never and heard it was, of the innuendo. It was so, so horny. He's just horny all the time. What just stop talking about my libido. <laughs> you aren't helping your case here, Nuva. <laughs> um <clears throat> Career soldier doesn't make her particularly bribable. So you would want to play to her sense of duty. Her sense of duty is to the city. The city has slavery as being illegal. Do, do we know, like, her record? Is she, like, fairly by the book, or...? Oh, she is... The book. The book, yeah. She okay. is in... She, there are lawful neutral people, then there are people like Inspector Jacobo and Andino, and then there's her. <laughs> like, she does everything by a military order that she yeah. uh, has taken into her soul implicitly. That's still not the best, because myself and Sada will be there, and so we are wanted. <laughs> Uh, so she could be by the book, but two by the book, and still try to arrest us in addition to Donatella. Just because you stop slavery doesn't mean that I'm going to excuse the murders. Yeah. Also, I caught you. Very annoying. Also, I saw you jaywalking. Yeah. Now you must die. Ten years dungeon, no trial. Yep. Oh, so she's just a judge? Oh, yeah, that's tricky. Cause she's probably not. Does she? Uh, does she worship? Uh, what's her face? Gunwoman, law lady, Madeline Morrell. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Agrippa doesn't know her exact uh, religious preferences, but if you had to guess, probably, probably, probably Aristus. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, God bless you. Sorry. Does don't apologize. Does does Jacopo know her? Uh, <laughs> possibly in passing. Okay, not 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 personally, no. 
she's not a person that like normally makes people or something. go out of their way. To, well, yes, yeah, for one thing, she's a military commander. She's not doing normal policing. Um, and B, she's not a person that like typically go out of your way to befriend. Yeah, she's so kind actually, of... that's a good point, though. She's a military person to try to arrest us because she's not, that's not her job to do. Good point. But... So if anything would just, she would not participate because she would look to the courts for a decision? Hmm. I'm asking Sal's here. Like, okay. what's the what's the order of operations here? Like, first she would see what her commander ordered, but in absence of a commander, would she like not follow her commander's orders if the courts weighed in favor of something else? Uh, possibly. You are coming down to like eventually yeah. individual like. What is what choice? You, you can come up with like, okay, this is the, these are the laws of event, and you spread them out all on a table. And, okay, this is this is this is, but you don't know what a person is actually going to do during the moment because she might not have like every single law of event yes, memorized. Yes, yes. All right. Well, regardless, the Andinas will be there. The allegations will be made. What's his face is going to be doing a crime, trying to silence it. There's not really a good means of having her be in the area, so. Well, I'll just have to see it's, that it, how it shakes out. And I know this about her now, so that will be helpful regardless. Okay. I'm satisfied. Okay. You go to sleep like a baby? I don't sleep like a baby, but I sleep. All right. So you sleep. Seems like a well-respected adult. <laughs> well, an adult. Um, hey, how fucking dare you? <laughs> So one thousand years dungeon. <laughs> oh no! Um, all right, so time passes. Well, the night did, passes. Hey, hey, wait, hold no. On. For, did, did you see what I wrote in the chat, Sal? No, I didn't. Wrote, yeah, wrote, I didn't want to interrupt you all talking. Oh, oh, yeah, because Simi would like to talk to Suru. All right, by all means. Okay. Suru, I believe you hear a knock on your door. <laughs> <laughs> a knock on your chamber door. Well, I ignore it. Okay, I, I knock it's again and I say, Suru, I'm not a servant. What do you want? I wanted to talk to you about something of some importance, I guess. Okay. Come in. I, right. uh, I, I go in and I, of course, offer the ceremonial bottle of whiskey. I mean, it's, I don't it, know what you're talking about, just, but I'll there take you go. a free just, bottle of whiskey. Yeah, take a free bottle of whiskey. I, I, that's the this is a joke. Um, look, if I or if something happens to me at some point, I don't know if I die or whatever. I wanted to officially name you as who would take over the army in my absence. Okay. I know you're not really like the strategy type, but you're big and strong, and that works just be, as well. I figured it'd be me now. No. <laughs> Mino's not here right now. Yeah. Sir's not strategically unsound. He's pretty good at that stuff. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's fair. Sir might not be incredibly inventive, but yeah, she knows what she's doing at least. You don't need to be too inventive. At a certain point, punching someone's face will stop whatever strategy they have. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, that's a little strange. We've done a lot of things. You've never said anything like this before. No, I mean, I know you have a talent for it. I, I trust you to actually get shit done instead of, you know, shirking from responsibility. Well, you're right. You have nothing to worry about there. So, yeah, if I had to choose anybody in this entire whole endeavor... To, to run the army, if I were to die, it would be you. Okay. So, that's, I just, I don't know, I figured a night before a big cool thing would be as good night as I need to say it. Well, alright, just don't die tomorrow. I wasn't planning on it, but you never know. If you do, I'll kill you myself. 
Okay. That's all. Alright. Chazai knocks on Suru's door. <laughs> and he has a gun! Suru, if I die today, tomorrow, I want you to be the new house head of the house sensei. <laughs> Akio knocks on all your doors and show you his drawing. Hey! <laughs> hey look at this! I made this! I, I don't believe it probably would happen. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> oh no! That's not what's that's not what the other people wait, said. Wait, 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 wait. Jazari sheds a single Oh, it's it's really good. He sheds a single tear of how beautiful it is. Oh wow, thank you. Jazari, I didn't like it so much. Well now that I have your approval specifically, I'm gonna go make a thousand prints. It's beautiful. Head thumbs up. Yay. I'm sorry, yeah. Sals. No! No. No, it's <laughs> it's fine. I'm not even really upset, just, just furious. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, after this, you, you do sleep. And uh, dawn breaks. The, the, the low town remains in an umbra for some time, but in high town it is light. Daylight. And if... You're not mistaken. But at this point, word has gone out to the various important families of Hightown that Luella Sensi, quote unquote, is seeking a large scale audience at the conservatory. Which essentially means that Don Telemorisini at least knows something is up. No. Throughout the night, um, Agrippa does report that uh, your various mercenary captains have marshaled themselves and are prepared for action. They just need orders as to what you want them to do. So the troops need orders as to what they want me, uh, what they are supposed to do. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I will call the commanders to the various platoons, because why would I talk to each and every single individual shoulder? The soldier words. Well, currently the captains are with their... Well, yeah. I... Okay, yeah, yeah, no, Agrippa is able to very quickly round them up, get them up to high town. Um, he knows the fast ways. It involves boats yes. and lifts. And luckily, the sensing mansion has to lift right next to it. So, um, so very rapidly, there are a bunch of rather uh, um, uh, mercenary-looking men and women in uh, one of this and one of the large sensi sitting rooms um, of various shapes and sizes. Let me go back up. Okay. Sorry, I had to pull up the actual troop names and uh, my little map thing. Okay. So here is the plan. Things, of course, are subject to change on the fly. I expect you to use your own discretion when doing this. Um, so the first part of the plan, I point towards the uh, where were the name of the keep, the keeps at the uh, front at the bay entrance of the bay. Uh, that would be the temple of the uh, the, the, the temple, uh, Tower of the Dawn, Tower of Dusk. Okay. So first dusk tower and the dawn tower. Part of the company of the cat, uh, about a third of you, as well as. Uh, Captain Baldi, you and the Legion of Seven Soldiers, you are going to attack those two forts. You're going to try to make it look as convincing as you can that you mean to take them and cut off the bay from the, the surrounding ocean. Uh, the idea there is to pill, uh, pill, pull the Vivanese uh, forces towards you and then flee 
once you know they get close enough. All right. Uh, Captain Upalo speaks up. All right. Uh, how do you want these apportioned? Do you want 350 men, uh, my men on each side? Do you want my 700 on one side and the 400 uh, cats on the other? I. Um... Also, these are two peninsulas. Could be difficult to escape from if we get cut off. Right. Uh, on that note, I, I forget. So how high up are the uh, peninsulas? Are they pretty close to the water? Um, they are on cliffs. Uh, they're lower than the arch, but the cliff face on those at that point is about a hundred feet. Okay. Two hundred um, places, varying between those two. So it's not exactly like they can like they can jump off. Right. Uh, well, I would first off as far as the, the allotments about. Uh, sorry, I was tapped away from the numbers. So here I want. No, I've got I've got the uh, half of the company of the cat. So six hundred of you. You're going to split evenly between the two forts. As well as Captain Baldy, your men are going to split evenly as well. 350 apiece for a total of 650 troops per fort. And as far as getting away when the going gets a little too tight, we will uh, have some ships positioned outside of the harbor. You guys will need to make your way down the best way you can, whether that be repel or flee through more conventional means to the ships that are waiting. I will leave that to your discretion. Oh, thanks. Uh, the, the cliffs do lower down to beaches, but not for a few miles at least. The cliffs are a few miles high? No, they're, they're a few miles long. Okay. Hmm. So we would be able to get there at a double march. It'd be exhausting, but my soldiers could get there in an hour. We'd have to be trying to keep ahead of Partizani chasing us, but at least they'd be tired too. Yeah, and once you're on the ships, you're 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 home free. You can pretty much just pull back and wait on the ships and. We hope. You're planning on putting us on ships. What happens when the Vivani's fleet mobilizes? Whose ships are you putting us on? Uh, Chisari, I was hoping that we would be able to tap into some of these Sensi vessels. At the least. Fruit. Oh, no, it's Fruit dead. is muted. No, I can hear you. Oh. Um, uh, yeah, of course. We have our own ships as well. All right. So you have ships. Well, even at that point, if, if you were to get on the ships and flee, then you're even doing us a further favor by pulling the Vivani's fleet away. Hmm. Yes, Jazari. So they will just continue retreating. Yes, they they would continue retreating. Okay. Their point is to look big and scary to get as much away from Hightown as possible. I trust Kisumi here. She knows more of this kind of business than I do. I would note that um, given the crowded nature of Hightown, um, a small force um, has an outsized effect, I guess you could put it. Easier to defend the location when the streets are so narrow. Captain Nubaldo points at the map. The Dawn Tower is the more dangerous one. That one has the Castel D'Onofrio on its side. To get to the Dusk Towers, rules are from there would have to march through the entire city. Well, then why not focus our efforts on the Dawn Tower? Or pardon me, the Dusk Tower. That's that's the last of this one, right? He nods. Okay. 
Well, either we, capturing either one of those could potentially cut off the street. Then we nix splitting you guys up, and you all focus on the dawn, uh, the dust tower. Right. We might actually take that with twelve hundred men. There's only yeah. two hundred defending it. And if you were to oh. hold it, oh. Oh. as Chizari said, a small area would be much easier to defend than a large area. You uh, all could not abuse the merchants. We need the public on our side, and it would be a bad look if mercenaries started making tariffs. I look at them. Yeah, that's that is a going decree for all of you. We are not to be pillaging at all. If you, are, you... yeah, you are being paid well enough to pillage, uh, or to skim, or to loot. Of course, of course. I expect that any of your people who are caught doing so are dealt with harshly. We need the public on our side for this. They are professionals, and if they aren't, then we'll leave a bad review on <laughs> mercenary Yelp. <laughs> uh, that actually scares several of the mercenaries. <laughs> they live Yarp. by their reputations. Yarp. Um... <laughs> Yarp. Narp. All right, that um... accounts for... Well, quite a few men. 1,300 of your men. You still have 600 company at the Cat and everybody else except for the Legion of Seven Soldiers. Yep. So, um, in the, for, the, uh, for the rest of you, we are going to be using a mix of light infantry and our more special forces. Uh, that would be the Green Company, the Long Shards. Um, you are going to have the great and wonderful honor of going through the sewers. <laughs> Captain Saharanel's face just droops. <laughs> She's high elven. She is clearly not happy with this. Um, I, I am very happy with it. <laughs> why? If anybody, can, <laughs> if anyone can move quickly and quietly, it would be you. For what end? Uh, what is our objective to? in moving through these pipes. The objective here would be to get up onto the uh, uh, up through the sewers and out of the cisterns in order to p position forces behind high Out of the cisterns, they're full of water. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, I, I mentally I was thinking of a different kind of set up there. Well, and the, uh, my original plan is out of character. My original plan was to have them uh, find their way out of the sewer through whatever means they could, uh, They could, whether it be actually knocking out a wall, which uh, the druids, you know, might be able to melt stone, um, or finding large enough entrances to where they can get out of the sewer and into uh, Hightown proper. Um, that I think we could do. Yes, that's that way. You guys could uh, begin taking the lifts, uh, dealing with whatever guards are still left there. At the same time as you, leaving there's only two hundred. In... Well, yeah, they would, I, it's it's not just the them two. It's also the um, I would be sending uh, the Azure Air Corsairs through there. It would be a pretty large undertaking, but that's why I'm sending exclusively light troops. Mm -hmm. So, all right, so that's a thousand group. people moving through the sewers. That's a lot of sewer people, eh? Yes. You if could only, take all the rest. Depths. Uh, the chances of them being discovered, however, goes up with that many. Uh -huh. Um. And if they start emptying the cisterns into the sewers, it's going to be bad for all of them. Right. Well, hopefully... Hmm. Why... Yes? This is a question. Uh, why did you decide to send them through the sewers instead of just taking the lifts? We have the Lodovicos on our so we have the use of the lift. Okay. Uh, you know, I hadn't really considered the uh, having the Lodovicos on our side more directly. So... Like, we have control over the lifts, essentially. And the light troops are, well, light. You can fit more of them onto a lift at once. Okay. So then 
we could send the uh, light troops up via the lifts and have the heavy troops a mix of lifts and steps in order to try to get oh up. thank god says captain saharana <laughs> Point being, I, I, this would be a two-pronged assault. We need to try to get people up in at the palace as quickly as possible. Right. Does um. Are we going to be putting any troops in between the castell and the palace? This route is a bit of a bottleneck. They well, could take side streets all the way, but it would be slow going. That would be the most. That would be. Hmm. Well, we do have knights and Keshite chargers here. I mean, it, that would really force them to use those side streets if the main thoroughfares have mounted horsemen and horsemen patrolling them. Ah, uh, horsemen <laughs> like. And, uh, yeah, you know, all that. Uh, Uruk Atai is a centaur. Yes. Um, he has been having to duck since he got in here. I apologize. Not, at least. Um, but at the idea of this, mm, I know those three. It's wide enough. I'm sorry, there, you cut out a little bit. I know that street. It's wide enough. It'd work. I don't know about these knights. <laughs> but my chargers would hold off an army, run them down. Well, you guys are a bit more maneuverable than the knights would be, but the knights also can make a nice tight wall to run, uh, to bulldoze things. Either way, I'd like you both to work together. Count Leo Mantley is a relatively older man. It's in his fifties, balding, um, and he has this poise of a of an Ardanian noble. He, this is someone who has been bred uh, since he's been born to be this perfect uh, image of chivalry and noblesse. Um, and he looks at this hulking centaur from the steps. Um, up his nose for once, or instead of down, <laughs> and turns back towards you and goes, if the centaurs are capable of withstanding a partisani pike wall, then we should be able to hold them off the partisani for quite some time. My men are more heavily armored. We should lead. Would be more likely to break through. Lead as in lead no. your charge? <laughs> okay. No, Kesha takes second in line to some northerner. I lead. I am the head of the spear. Look, what charge are we talking about? Look, if we can't are... agree, we'll have somebody else lead it. We're just delaying their uh, march. We're not trying to kill Partizani We're blindly. Not. What the purpose is this? Is? That wasn't a good sentence. What is the, what's the purpose of us being there if we're not there to kill them? That really made me think for a second. <laughs> <laughs> um, you will be there to kill them should the situation warrant it, but... It is entirely possible that initially the Partizani will not be openly hostile to you, and you will make them openly hostile to you should you charge at them. And dying so nobody... So what? I'm just supposed to stand there and look at them? Have you... Is this your first time as a mercenary? Yes. You are an intimidating presence that keeps uh, unwanted... Uh, Attacks uh, at the bay. Okay. I've offended him. <laughs> you sure not have said that. <laughs> As you say that, it's just, he his hackles just 
rise. You haggle. Patronize me. I have been more on battle on more battlefields than you have years, old man. I know how to fight. You're telling me not to fight. You There is no pride or nobility in attacking men who do not expect to be attacked. Yeah, yeah. This is not a battle for which you will gain any honor should you charge at them blindly. I am only trying to caution you against dishonoring yourself. Roll diplomacy. Hmm. Um, How's this going to do with that, I wonder? <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> Uh, Pathfinder. <laughs> I, this I'm sure is this something is... I'm going to have to address in the next campaign. I'm sure. I'm sure this won't be something you'd miss in Pathfinder too. So. Uh, okay. He goes. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're all the I, I've, 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 I've built my man to do one thing. I was about to walk in and be like, "Oh, I know how to talk to centaurs, but diplomacy, bro." Uh, at the same, in the same stroke, though, I turned to the cat and, um, now, as for this dispute about who will be leading who in this charge... It's not a dispute, it's logic. I know the makeup of his soldiers. They're light chargers. They'll be shredded by you a pike wall and crossbow. Um, My men are on full plate with barded horses, with shields. Be far uh, more capable of taking that on such a obstacle, if it were to be needed. And I might say that my soldiers are a sight more disciplined. These are Danian knights. They won't charge off unexpectedly. He says. Eyeing a rugatai meaningfully. Sorry. Um, this is a, what is it, a wide street, and he's concerned that they'll form a pike wall and that only his knights would be capable of um, breaking through such a thing, yeah. Breaking well, through such a thing. I mean, if they form the pike wall, then that's when you're able to charge forward. The Keshites would excel at harassment. Like, I, I agree. They are Lely Armored. They would be hurt by a wall of pikes. But that's not what I wanted them for. I wanted them to slow down and stop any people trying to flee towards the, the Castell. That's what I want you to do as well. You both have your strengths, and I'm sure they'll both come into play. So we're more of an interception for us. That would be the idea, interception and stopping as much as you can. The... Yes? You're going to be... Uh... Attacking, routing, retreating troops with foreign mercenaries in Hightown? I, do you have another way to take the palace of the Grand Prince? Uh, it's true. If the Castel D'Onofrio was to reinforce the palace of the Grand Prince, things would immediately become very difficult for us. But if we begin charging at their forces, we would vastly outnumber us, and then killing their retreating men, that would I... redouble their efforts in stopping us. If instead I, we could just form some sort of wall between them to make it unpleasant to continue the march forward. The, you must understand, I, I'm, I'm wanting them to slow down if the Grand Prince were to flee. 
I, I'm not telling them to go assault wholesale. I, I, I was confused because regardless of what, how this goes, we need to have our forces in Hightown. Yes, that, of course. Nothing's going to change that. That is good, says uh, Captain Bach. Bad axes. Because if so, uh, heavy cavalry run into Zani, it doesn't matter how heavy or heavily armored they are. They'll all be killed. They're, they're fighting over nothing. It's, it's stupid. They're stupid. You should send me there. I will stop them. No killed. one gets through. 600 bad axes right in the middle of the road. Nobody gets any will get through. Promise. Cross heart. Okay. I did not hear a hope. Then, you, ha- then you have a bunch of cavalry to interdict retreating forces. You should put me there too. What were your plans for this force originally, Kasumi? As much as we can pile onto the palace of the Grand Prince to try to keep anything from, from leaving. Essentially sieging the place. Um. But, I mean, it's... That might be overkill. We could probably spare er, the heavy infantry going over there and doing have, it, they say. Have the... They have crossbows. We kill cavalry on the way. We form shield wall. We have tight formation. Nobody gets past. Just alright. We have uh, the house guard of the Sensi. Uh, and Dino and Ftazos. Um if they are meant only to fight well actually we don't know exactly how many people are in the Grand Prince Palace or do we like if we do the exact all... number of the Grand Prince of the uh, Palace Guard yeah um, it's about a thousand okay so if we had all those folks we would have enough to prevent them it wouldn't be enough to assault it but it would be enough to prevent them from bursting out i guess um it'd be enough to lay siege to it be enough to lay siege uh and then if we manage to secure the castel d'onofrio if we get if we manage to cut off the head by killing Mario, and we are completely confident that that threat is dispersed, we can call back everybody from that side and do an assault prop. So, keep the bulk of our forces in preparation in case the Castle of Delfrio is not neutralized? Yes. It is a serious concern. There's like 10,000s of no, you're right. uh, soldiers in there. Um... About 13,500, exactly. And since they are mounted, if it looks like we just need to fucking do it, lightning strike on the palace, it would be easier for them to charge back towards uh, the palace and aid in the assault. So to make sure I'm clear on this, you're suggesting having just... The knights, chargers, and bad axes ready to try to hit the palace while the bulk of our forces kind of have a holding pattern in this area pending an assault. Oh, I was saying the opposite that the knights and bad axes kind of uh, take uh, blockade the streets from the castell to the palace, and our forces surround the uh, palace. Sorry. The, the axes and knights yes. and horsemen blocking the castell, our forces surrounding the palace. Yeah, and then, yeah. if something were to happen, the knights and the horsemen would be easy for them, easier for them to rush uh, to our aid. Yeah, you put us right here. Main forces from the castell cannot get past. They'd have to go through all tiny alleys. Which would hopefully be flooded with people who are mad. Yes. Wait, really? 
Uh, well, yeah. the rioters who are mad about the situation. I don't. Or, well, not, oh, not I, mad, I, about I, you guys. mad about the. Not rioters, just civilians. This is no information to me. It, it's that's sort of always been the plan. There, there might be civilians out and about who are furious at the Grand Prince. That would only really serve to help you guys because it would mean those small alleyways will have a higher chance of being clogged with folks who are really mad. Yes, mix. This this is good. Okay, that makes sense to me. You have the cavalry in the market square. Anything that does break through the line gets run down. And then, since they're, they're fast, they can reinforce. It's a good plan. Yes. You are right by the Temple of Olivia's Aurum. We don't really know where they will shake out. So also, <laughs> Priests, what do they do? They I hate. mean, just, just tell them you're willing to spend money and they'll let you in. <laughs> well, the concern is if they are willing to spend money. Um, but uh, with a garrison station there, that also helps with, you know, keeping an eye on them. I am concerned about the Dottores. This is another, a new person. This is, um, oh, God damn it. this is Captain Ubaldo of Ubaldo's Bastards. Uh, do we have any word from Hajime? <laughs> No, <laughs> or because he does not have, it. he does not have such sending, and neither does he. Damn it. Um, and neither does Dragon Friend. Damn it. Um, whose name escapes me currently? I need to go back through my notes. Uh, but um, what are you concerned that they will do? I don't know. Poison but, you? I don't know, but they freak me out. So I don't they like are that. freaky, but they are doctors. We should they... take this opportunity to destroy the castle and kill everyone in it. I, no, no. no. I they'll be to do this. The, provided sure? we're not killing. What have the Tories ever done to you? They've... Meanwhile, the Tory Clemenza is in the room, just like off in the corner, going like, "Oh no!" <laughs> they have they have healed me of my ill. <laughs> That's what you think. Who knows uh... what they do in that castle? Well, oh, presently, what matters is <laughs> what presently what matters is I think because I am the one paying you. So <laughs> because I was only one of them, so you may go ahead and uh, after this find a new patron who wishes to wage war against the Dotoris. Throw <laughs> <laughs> uh, somebody out there who really hates doctors. Just, you know, don't do it while we are doing our stuff. Yeah. All right, fine. Yeah. Okay. So, this seems like a service will plan as any. I think this is how we should spin it. Any objections here? Nah. Nah. All right. Okay. The mercenaries have their orders. They move out. Yeah, um, boy. When is this plan going into action? Um, I, when did we say that? When did Luella say Luella uh, say that we meet at the? Honestly, I have no idea. You tell me. Uh, what time is it? It is like this. Is, it's now after this meeting. It's like seven o'clock in the morning. Okay. Okay. So uh, break for breakfast, and then. Uh... 11 o'clock. Yeah, nice morning, uh... Nice morning siege and assault. <laughs> Be pleasant. Hey, uh... Do you have, uh... My normal, consti- my normal morning constitutional and coup. <laughs> uh, y- y'all got French toast here? No. What the hell is French? You're in, you're you're in, in Italy. French yeah, Italian toast. However, they do this have... is the sensei mansion. We have the best chefs in the world. You will have this toast. Egg bread. The okay. cinnamon egg bread will be yours. French toast recipe. It's What's the egg and now, bread. Hatsu is actually partial. 
a brioche French. Yeah, he, pasta he, he, was partially French toast. Whoa. No, it's that partial part? to the French toast. It's, uh-huh. And it's just like he does a mean brioche French toast. <laughs> I, I. We don't really use heavy breads like this in 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 Hano. I, yeah. I need to bring some back. We do you? We use rice cakes, and it's awful. <laughs> no, they're good too, just in a different way. Oh, you can do other things with them. But I wouldn't do this to them, or would I? <laughs> Why does that sound so intimidating? Uh, yeah, no. Tatsu them. just has like a cloud over him, like, contemplating the mysteries of the food universe. Um, but yes, you, breakfast is good. The sensitive chefs are good. Um, speaking of, what do you want Tatsu to be doing? Uh, I mean... uh, he's gonna go with. Oh, it's your boyfriend. You can choose. I was gonna say somebody needs to. Mercenaries. So he's what? Some of somebody needs to keep the mercenaries in line because I'm so feisty. Um. Well, I mean that's not Tatsu. All right, Gadaris. He's got a good charisma, and he he's a <laughs> sexy boy. Sounds very messy. Um. Gadaris is there. A little confused as to what you exactly want. Gadaris, these mercenaries don't like listening to each other. You need to be some uh, a means of having them behave nicely with one another. Okay, you you want me to fuck the mercenaries? No. You want me to fuck all the mercenaries? Not when they're fighting. So, not so when fuck all the mercenaries, uh, right? I'm I'm confused. So what do you want me to do? Tatsu, if they start no, that's arguing, Tatsu, I'm Gadaris. Uh, Gadaris, if I they start, like Tatsu, <laughs> that's like fine. Tatsu. Gadaris, if they start arguing with each other. Finesse them into agreeing with each other instead, and not with an orgy. Well, that's what You're I'm good really at. cutting down on my options here. <laughs> Gadaris, you know how to convince people to do things. I know you have it. It is not too complicated. It is simply, oh, they're arguing? Make them able to see the good in one another so that then they instead agree. Oh, so the the boring way. The boring way, correct. This sucks. Okay, fine. <laughs> wow, the mouth on this. Yeah, you notice Gadaris is sort of like You know something, Josiah. You told Gadaris to do something and he didn't do it immediately. <gasps> this was strange. Huh. Well, not my problem. <laughs> whistle whistle whistle. Right now. <laughs> I'm sure that will sort itself out later. <laughs> In the fullness of time. <laughs> um, so. Ooh, French toast. All right. So your soldiers are basically going into action pretty much immediately. Immediately. As soon as they get back, they're mobilizing and we're heading to the conservatory. Okay. Uh, um, along the way, you... Uh, uh, Chisari, you, everybody starts getting up, bustling over. You, you, you have, you're, you're the sensi patrician. You have carriages. Um, you... Uh, also, you're on a main street, so you can actually fit them. Um, you're sort of like... Uh, convoy of various carriages and the sensi colors start rolling towards um the conservatory deep event uh you're hit in the head by something oh no what is it a bullet you die holy shit no, that's so sad <laughs> that's not true though because it's a bullet so it does d8 exactly you survive <laughs> and it's fine um oh, it unarmed off, thing, actually. No, you fool it's a it's a min max gunslinger you're dead instantly <laughs> oh no Oh no! It's no. the cannon wizard. <laughs> That's where um, Camp Work no. went. He faked his death to kill Chazari. Uh, no, you're hitting the head by what looks like a paper airplane. Oh, is it a note from my spy friend saying where our fellow uh, bad boy is? I open. Actually, it. yes, you open it, and it is from Armand, and it is reporting that uh, Chazari. 
uh, Mario just left with 30 Padazani. Oh, okay. That's how <laughs> And is marching towards the conservatory. If you can intercept him underway, I think it would be prudent to murder all of his friends and capture him. Damn. Oh. But we want to. any are the ones are ones that he chose, so I suspect that they're rather loyal and probably. Yes. Nice. At least the ones that are in the know of what he's doing, because some of them have. Ha. Huh. Okay. We should do that. If Armand advises it, he has more information on him. And um, we did kind of want them to interrupt the allegations so that everybody would gasp and be like, how could the Morosinis do this? But, oh. but we'll intercept them instead. Mm-hmm. We can always force Well, you're like here when you get this message. So, and they're like, where? They just left. So, they're like, here. Yeah. So, I made a dot. Get rid of it. Uh, okay. So, they'll be there soon, but they're also marching on foot. So, it's going to take them longer to get to the conservatory. Um, and if everybody's on time, you might get the ability to start your engines before they get there. Uh-huh. Well, let's see if they're on time. All right, you reach the conservatory, Diva Ven. <laughs> Nobody's there. <laughs> Nobody's there. Oh, no. You're doomed from the start. But no, you reach the conservatory, Diva Wow, there it is, the conservatory wow. of the Ven. It looks yes. just like it. Yes. Um, the massive that is there. crystal dome looms above you. It's many pane surfaces uh, casting the light of the dawn into, or not the dawn, into the late morning, into the um, Baroque and ornate uh, interior. Uh, various people are running around the conservatory. The people who actually work here and live here are very confused. Students are just sort of like backing away as. Uh, house guards from all manner of Vivini's families, like the, the important ones and like the, the, the stupid ones that no one cares about. There's a lot of people here already. Um, they just sort of seem to be milling into the central dome area and sort of standing away from each other, uh, not really trying. Some of them are like going over friends, are meeting up and going, all right, do you know what this is about? No, not really. <laughs> um, why are we here? Students well, are naturally rebellious. So they... um, apparently, uh, you know, this is this sort of thing is important. No? Uh, Luella is crazy. She's probably going to get us all killed. Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> when you arrive, Cesare, uh, are you walking in? As Cesare. As Cesare. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, Cesare. <laughs> You're under arrest. Yes. Uh, no, Cesare, you see uh, Rodrigo Fatazo yeah. is at the main gate waiting for you. He um, has a pocket watch open. Punctual, at least. At least. I was early. <laughs> okay. No, I was early, and then I come over the shadows. It's dangerous to be. Rodrigo Fatazo just looks at you and just. What are you doing? <laughs> anyway, I was early. Oh shit! It's bad by R. <laughs> I'm back. I have seen hell. I'm I'm back by R. Um, <laughs> Cesare. No. This uh, is mostly your show. Okay. And he... If you don't want the credit. Oh no, I'm going to walk in, be walking in to your left, but <laughs> I'm going to be behind you. Any word on where... Oh shit, Andina... Andina Maria? No. Um, I have notes on this, but I do not recall it. It's been a while. 
The lady of the Andino family's name is... Where's my Chazari sheet? There it is. Which person are you trying to discover? Uh, the Philomena. Philomena Andino is currently in charge of the Andino family. This is correct, yes, Sals? She is. You are okay. correct. Any word on where Philomena is? And also... I believe she's already inside. Ah, brilliant. I just her. Perfect. Uh, anybody from the Gremio family? Rodrigo has not yet shown. Okay. But if I don't miss his, my guess, he is the sort to arrive fashionably late. Of course. Even to something like this. Rodrigo uh, clearly has a certain level of disgust for <laughs> Who else has uh, congregated already besides just the conspirators? <laughs> Uh, the Roganzini, uh, the Antimanellis are here. Excellent. Uh, and there are a number of minor. You know. Good. That's a good start. Point this in individually, but large in uh, numbers. The Fiorellos, the, Medi the Medici's, you know, the ones that don't matter. Mm -hmm. Of course. The pizza makers. Yes. Okay, let's march in there. Hell yeah. All, all of us criminals. Yep. Yeah. No, um, Rodrigo gestures a pair of large Aneban, um men in arms, nod, and go and push the two great doors to the conservatory, which are usually open anyway, but apparently Rodrigo had had them shut just for this occasion. Yeah. <laughs> um, and which, yeah, the slow um, whining of hinges that don't open very often. Um, I mean, you could see through them because they're glass, but like, you know, now you can, <laughs> they're there. <laughs> Oh, uh, where? What about Lady uh, Guardswoman? Fuck, I didn't write that one down. Um, mm -hmm. The one guard. that uh, that Siru prevented, right? Uh, no, no, no. The uh, one that is currently second to the, the super uh, Castel, military. the super military loyal, <laughs> legalistic lady. Liara um, Baria. Tiara Baria. Liara. Liara Baria. Yes. Um, she did you actually try to summon her here? No, I was just wondering where she was. I would have. She doesn't that... appear to be here. Okay. Um, I was just wondering if, like, she because we publicized this, so she heard about it and was like, oh, "I'm gonna go check on what that is about." Well, it's not her I, job to. That's fair. From what, from what you know about her, <laughs> that she's not here. Perfect. Okay. However. On that uh, point, as you walk in, you notice a number of faces, and Dean, uh, Illumino and Dino, Septima, um, a few other people that you have I've met maybe in passing at parties. Um, Inspector Jacobo and Dino is here. Uh huh. And he is accompanied by eight carabinieri. And he's here to arrest you. I mean, that is his job. They don't move to arrest you immediately. Which is good for you. <laughs> that is good for me. Um, especially since... Uh, make a perception check, please. Yes, I will. Do and anyone can make this, but... Fine, I'll make it. I'm not going to make it. I'll choose not to. Roll it to. Guess I will also roll it. How could right. you um, that's, this is, this is, I, that's enough 29s for... For now, here oh, comes another one. Oh, oh. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay. Sal's, we all fucking see it. Yeah, no, you do. I mean, Sada, Sada doesn't roll perception, she reviews to see it. Um, all right, Sada, you're looking at your feet, but the rest of you <laughs> know that, um, up by the arches and vaulting of the glass ceiling, uh, on the walls, apparently, there are like inset 
walkways just below the ceiling, presumably for maintenance. And you can see that um, at positions, there's a lot more than just eight carabinieri. There, as it turns out, a lot of them in here. All right. Well, just sort of surrounding this main area. Let's not die. The carabinieri. Yes. What do I have to roll to walk really cool? Wait, I shouldn't ask that because I don't know if I have to miss. <laughs> um, Acrobatics. Yeah. You want to make an impression? Yeah. Um, you want me to do like a dazzling display? No, I mean, perform would seem the most appropriate, but you don't have ranks in perform, I have so. Perform? No, I have ranks in sailor. <laughs> that, that is true. That would not help in this case. Um, oh, no, I have ranks in diatribe for my perform. Ah. Well, Diatribe will not help me at the moment. No. But so shortly. you could just make a flat um, charisma. Uh, too risky. Could roll a one. Yeah. And then you wouldn't be cool. Uh, I mean, look at it. Roll it anyway. <laughs> okay. The worst okay, that can happen. Okay. I could roll acrobatics right, to do okay. cartwheels. I've clicked the charisma button. Yeah, see? So, yeah, Cesare, <laughs> you enter. You poised. You are prepared. You are not... A, um like you initially feared. Uh, you used your disguise check. You are put together in such a way that you command attention upon your entrance. Um, and yeah, you walk down this long hall, central domed portion of the conservatory. And there are gasps. Um, obviously, Jacopo and Dino um, does not gasp, but he is <laughs> looking at you solemnly. Uh, you have your coterie of people behind you, Rodrigo Fatazo, um, a notable, strenuous anti-slavery arguer, uh, a man from the bank, Grand Bank of Event, a bunch of random adventure, adventurer types. Uh, <laughs> you're, it's it's not a bit just of a motley, any, yeah. It's a bit of a motley band, but. Attention grabbing at the very least. Um, you enter, and uh, yes, at this point, basically, it's you have a, a semicircle of Vivini's high towners looking at you, their guards standing behind them, either with rapiers or with partisans, looking around, making sure that no one is trying to uh, assassinate their wards. You have any number of carabinieri up above you staring down at you. Uh, and as finally you reach the end point, the carabinieri surrounding Andino, Inspector Jacopo Andino, um, uh, take their, have, have their weapons at the feet. Um, and at a slight gesture from him, they spread, uh, they take a wider stance and sling their uh, muskets down to rest at the on the ground at the, at uh, more at ease stance. Still at attention. All right. What do you say? Oh boy. Those gathered here today, the people of Yvenn. No doubt you are all wondering why it is that the Sensi family has summoned you. I will begin immediately, for the time I have to tell you this is short. I do it at great personal risk to myself, but it is for the good of Viven. No doubt you remember, almost a year ago now, the last time, scandal over slavery wo uh, <laughs> waged havoc over our city. It was a scandal that almost destroyed an entire house and completely changed the fabric of you're, our government. Your pause stopped here, because uh, at this point, another door has opened, and Rodrigo is <laughs> ah, making his dramatic uh, entrance. Yes, he, uh, Rodrigo, uh, uh, not Rodrigo Grimio, Roberto Grimio right. walks in. Um, he has about 20 guards with him. Okay. They just like 
like he comes out of just this side room and they just like clown <laughs> uh, t- taking up attention positions uh, on either side of him he folds his hands behind you and behind his back and is looking at you sort of non-committally just with sort of like a, a almost a half sneer he does not think very highly of you I think but uh as a vedette, he's also not hostile. However, this interruption has caused a bit of a, a, <laughs> a low whisper spread throughout the um, room. And please make a diplomacy check uh, to get attention back on yourself. Of course. And tell me what it is, because I'm currently... 55. 55. <laughs> Very shocking, I know. I will be rolling these kinds of numbers for... The what? What is your bonus? 39. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, that's just fine. Uh, this... um, no, you've been actually rolling pretty good, too, in addition to... That's having true. ...having an obscene bonus. Um, so, yeah, uh... Your voice carries out the acoustic. Where you're standing, the acoustics are great. You you echo out again, and just like they silence, and you can continue. Don Gremio, I am overjoyed that you have managed to arrive because what I have to say to you is of tremendous relevance to your family, perhaps even vindicating in many sense. For you see, it has come to our attention that the Morosini family and Donatella explicitly have been dealing in this slave trade. Gasps. (gasps) This is... The people (laughs) are taking it back. Um, uh, They're immediately chatter uh, uh, throughout each other. Um, A few of them are just just like throwing their hands up and you're you're like going, impossible. This Not is, merely. These are lies from a pirate. Arr. Sada goes R. It doesn't help your case. <laughs> but you can continue. It is through. Actually, excuse My... me. Uh, please roll uh, diplomacy again. Oh. <laughs> these are actually hard to check. I believe you. <laughs> But you rolled a 51, so go ahead. Yes, if anybody is four levels above me, just so you know. They... But there is nobody four levels above you. Ah, damn it. Um, you will recall that the last time these charges were made, it was by a similar crew, with evidence, of course. You will note the adventurers who eventually left uh, from Hadeno. And I gestured to the party. Hey. <laughs> I say. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Uh, through our work uh, in Hadno, it came to be that we began to suspect these dealings in our interceptions of Morosini vessel and the strange dealings that they have. It became an immediate concern of mine to return here and investigate further. And upon further investigation, the evidence began to compile, uh, began to, not compile, what's the word for it? Pile up. Compound? Compound is another word for it. <laughs> <laughs> I present, for instance, and I will allow this to be circulated among members of the families here so that they can vouch for what I am saying. Evidence in the, of uh, forgery and fraud in the entries into the Grand Bank of Vivens ledgers. Please, if you would be so kind, and I gesture to our banker friend to step forward and present his stuff to those folks. As I he does so. Uh, he walks forward. Are you using what? Am I using what? The materials found by Sada and Pascal in the conservatory here as well. Yes. Um, in addition to what we have managed to uh, delve up in this very conservatory, 
I look up at, is the angry Proctor around here? <laughs> oh, she is like off on the side, sort of like in one of those windows. <laughs> um, and she, she has a ruler that she's just, she has her arms crossed and she's tapping it against her shoulder. She's not looking at you, though. She's looking at Sai. <laughs> I look at her. She, she point she gestures, she points her uh, uh, fingers at her and then points at you. <laughs> um... So, uh, yeah, Katini goes out. Um, you have some servants with you assisting with the various books and pointing to the people are taking out uh, reading glasses and um, little monocles on sticks and looking at uh, it closely. And as they're doing so, it's like... Rebel, 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 rebel. This... This makes sense, says one particularly old Vietnamese man. As he hears that it was his large, like, Coke bottle thick glasses. This, this is all very irregular. I don't have a Vietnamese accent anymore. I don't know <laughs> when you become too old, you'll do At a certain point, you're in trouble because you can't combine strange voices with accents. In addition anymore. to these. Maybe I can, or maybe, ah, hey, hey, here we go, okay, yes, I, I, I have an accent again, ah, hey, oh. The entire, anyway, entire conservatory continue. erupts into cheers. <laughs> <laughs> you got it back. <laughs> this, this is a story of how uh, Donatore, Donatella Morosini fell, and also how Luigi Monaco got his... <laughs> Accent back. <laughs> we were never the main character was this old man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and now we may bring this campaign to a close. Um, <laughs> but yes, uh, continue. For those not in possession of the books, I will tell you what it is that is contained within them. Clearly, irregular records that do not add up. Transactions with Jesserins that are conveniently unlabeled for a ledger that is normally immaculate. These are highly suspicious. And a great deal of repeated laundering that upon close inspection becomes obvious. But fraudulent breaking records is not all that we have uncovered. For, indeed, we have managed to procure documents from, is it from Donatella herself or her husband? Her, herself. And herself. Her Both. From Donatella and her husband, him and herself, making these transactions directly, speaking of these deeds explicitly. And you will note the mark that they all bear is clearly that of Donatella and the Grand Prince. Please, <gasps> you may examine the documents, and I allow the other folks to check out them. How close are our... our these are clearly fraudulent. Where could you have gotten these? <laughs> Who shouted that? Oh, it was him. He shrinks back into the crowd. Uh, no, but... Um, Who said it? <laughs> sort of, he's a, a, a round... Um, Vivian's man clearly had done very well for himself. He's the head of the pizza-making family. Um, <laughs> this is not, you will recall, the first time such documents were uncovered by our group. And it has clearly not been the last time, for we have procured them once again. Let it be known that no such crimes can be hidden from the noble watchful gaze of the <laughs> Don Cesare. Oh my god. At, at this point, people are just... People just sort of look at each other at this. How if I talk about 59 diplomacy? <laughs> 39, I guess. Anyway, uh, uh, where are the two you guys? You can roll diplomacy for that, I guess. Um, actually, bluff, but... I mean, yeah. Part yeah. of the reason of having a good bluff is so that people believe my bluffs. But yeah, that's you can true. bluff if you like. Yeah, go ahead. Just for... There it is. I clicked it. Okay, you rolled a 65. Wowie, um, why did I allow this? Uh, okay. Uh, fine. No, this is fine. Um, so, yeah. Uh, oh, 
Yeah. I mean, I always thought Cesare was a jerk, but maybe that was all propaganda. And yeah. he's actually a good person. That's oh, correct. Yeah. <laughs> I've been like spending out my propaganda, whatever. I'm doing noble work out there. And... That's true. Um, um, but still, the answer is where did you get these the questions? It is not. Uh, the verity of the documents, all that matters here, where they were procured from, they were procured from the bureaus of Donatella and Mario themselves. But you may examine the sigils and the seals and see that they are true. Ah, so you admit to being a thief. I admit only to doing what is best for this nation. Um, where are the two folks? I know that they're just kind of marching up right now, but I'm like... Um, you got hit in the head again. Ah! <laughs> one moment. These airplanes have been everywhere. One uh, round, one round, one. Hi. It's oh. Armand. <laughs> Uh, I am running and writing at the same time. Why I'm not sure why I'm dictating this, but uh, I'm going. I'm about uh, a couple of minutes out from the conservatory, and uh, Mario is about a few minutes behind me. So uh, hope it's going well. See ya. <laughs> Excellent. Um, you will have no doubt heard. By now, of the two rabble rousers in Lowtown circulating such rumors that they were captured in the Don Castel Donofrio and then freed, having been taken by slavers and then held by Donatella and Mario, they were interviewed by our very own Jacopo Andino, and he saw that what they said was true. Is this not correct, Jaco? It is. It is true. <clears throat> Guess again. Therefore, it can only be that Donatella's rule is invalid. She must be removed immediately and her Rule over this city ends now. And if she cannot come and answer for these accusations, then she must be removed. For what she has Morgan. done is black in the name of Yven, deeper than anyone has ever. For doing this, for dealing with Jessalins, for besmirching the name of the Grand Prince by using his, their own sigil to conduct this business is disgraceful. For taking the Gremio Bank and using these funds to conduct such actions. It must be stopped. And Viven must be brought back into goodness and righteousness. There it must be a wait. trial! A trial. Yes, a trial. there must be. <laughs> there must be a trial. Trial, trial. Uh, but you no doubt were interested in what that little envelope that in my head. Well, it turns out that Donatella has sent for her own to put an end to this speech. She what? is too late, for I've already said it but she intends to intercept me and silence, for she is guilty and she knows it. <laughs> and then at that point, uh, Armand Morsini walks up behind you, or actually jogs up behind you and goes, hey, uh, turn around, you're going to need to f in two minutes. And, uh, actually, no, not two minutes. Uh, I'm going to need to what? Face in that direction very quickly. I turn around in that direction. Uh, there's 30 guys in half plate. 
armed with partisans and short swords and small shields uh, marching into the conservatory and at their head is a man uh, more heavily armored um, the the best money uh, the best armor money can buy it looks um, it looks foreign and extreme. Uh, Vivent is not especially well known for its weaponsmithing. This looks like it was made by people who knew what they were doing. Uh oh. Um, and he is marching at the head of them, his hand on the pommel, sort of smirking of a sword at his side, sort of smirking as he walks towards you and goes, Cesare Sensi. Cesare Di Sensi, excuse me. Rodrigo Fetazo, and all of you conspirators. You That's are us. under arrest in the name of the Grand Prince of Viven. You have to catch me first. No, Mario, it is you who is under arrest by the name of Viven itself. <laughs> he looks up, looks around. Carabinieri? Uh, the Carabinieri on the around the ceiling. You can see them aiming down the sights of their guns in your general direction. Uh, oh, no. You may want to convince them to... Uh, well, I've been, like, saying stuff that... Yes, that's but, true, okay. but uh, you get this... Carabinieri, you are here at perhaps one of the most pivotal moments in the history of Viven. The future will judge you by the actions you make today, whether you stand on the side of righteousness and good or support evil and defilement in our nation. It is up to you to decide if you will act by the noble nature of Carabinieri of Viven or befoul that name by listening to this cretin. All right, roll the plumsy. That's pretty good. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> at this point, Jacopo and Dino says, Carabinieri, stand down. Uh, the eight that are by him haven't really moved. They're not moving to be offensive. And you see about half of the carabinieri along the roof uh, sort of step away, a little um, confused, but another half are still aiming down at you. Uh, Mario looks a little uh, concerned that, like, he's not just, his commands aren't just being um, obeyed. Uh, but then again, technically, he's not in charge of these guys. So. Um, all right. Fine. We do this the hard way. Paisani. The 30 guys marshal into two ranks, lower their partisans down at you. There is gas of fear and panic from behind you as the realize that they're caught up in this too um and many of them start backing away um worried and then you hear boots behind you uh chazari uh, no you more turn boots. around and the 20 grimio guards who had entered with don uh, roberto are standing behind you and they have also formed a pipe wall and they are marching towards you. But as they reach you, they don't like stab, stab you. me. <laughs> they just I don't sort of die immediately. That's You're dead. <laughs> I, <laughs> I stabbed Chazari. They reveal I was around fella. you and sort of form a line in between you and the Partizani, a force nearly the size of the Partizani themselves, plus you guys. Um, and Roberto goes up, I believe. This man. My family has had no reason to love the senses or this specifically. This. This convinces me. 
Giovanni. I've read his books. I've read his notes. There is always a missing link. Always a source of his sin. Cesare has discovered it. Yes. I believe in Cesare Sensei. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And at this, the uh, various families behind you um, start stop retreating. The Parzani have stopped advancing because, well, now there's a bunch of guys in the way. Um, and uh, a few of them you hear, like, snap, go, help them. And the other house guards of the various families and Dinos, Patazos, Los Ricos, the Medecis, even even the pe- the pizza man, he his guard. Ah, the pizza Come man. <laughs> I knew Whoa, I could count on you. Is. It's just his cook. <laughs> He's got a cleaver. He throws a pe- he throws a whole pizza on the roof of the uh, His shield is like got pizza slices on it. <laughs> yeah, it's just all pepperoni. <laughs> so, um, the most dangerous meat. And uh, suddenly you have a force that outnumbers Mario Morosini's. And he has gone from being very confident to, oh no, this has gone very poorly. I need, I should have gotten here sooner. <laughs> um, and you can see him taking a step back. No, 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 no. The door. Um, <laughs> We need to stop that. Stop that, man. And, uh, yeah, he actually just starts taking off running. Okay. Um, the Hardizani sort of turn... Hmm? Can somebody try to catch him? Yes. All of you I can roll initiative. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, absolutely. We're going to try to stop him. I'll just be writing this down. Oh, I'll stop I, him. I didn't click on a pog. Because... Well, there, there are no pog pogs. Pog. So don't worry about it. Fool, oh, now man. there is. Oh, because <laughs> he's, he's not going to run away. He's going to ask die instantly. <laughs> <laughs> Kasumi, ideally, ideally, I know this is tough, but ideally he's captured. Don't worry, I'll, I'll go before Kasumi, so I'll drop kick him. Do I? Should I? Did you roll, Sada? Huh? Yes, I got a 24.1. I don't see it. showing up. I don't weird. see it either. Also, Kasumi got a 24.08. Yeah. Oh, you're point one. Point one, uh, yeah, so. Yeah. But so, seriously, it's not showing up. That's weird. At yeah. all. Take a screenshot of I it, too. I will take a screenshot of it. Um, I mean, I wasn't planning on killing him. I was just going to, like, make him choke. <laughs> He's going to drown. Him. Drown. True, don't uh, forget Paulina. Could... <laughs> That's true, you could choke him. Right. Yeah, I don't have to kill him. I could just, be like, bat <laughs> I don't remember your choke ability being able to. Oh no, they pass out first, and then if you. Oh, pow! Oh, pow! <laughs> oh, pow. Oh, buddy! Does pow have some kind of ability that lets her roll twice? For... No, unfortunately. Oh. Well, she can run at 70 feet per second, so. Yeah, so Wait. if anyone's actually going to catch to him, it would be her. Probably jump over. Also, he's Funny. like in heavy armor. He's probably down to like 20 feet. Per oh, he's not moving quickly. <laughs> I post the uh, the picture of my initial roll in the chat. He's like uh, sprinting, and he's going to be moving like. Six- gotcha. He's doing his best. Don't he's doing me. his best. Why is this armor so heavy? This is the last time I buy from dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so to, essentially, I believe you. Okay. I, um, I, I thought I, I, you fool! I photoshopped that picture right now. I mean, it wouldn't be very hard to like <laughs> do the page source stuff, but um, so that's going to be Sada, then Kasumi, then Akio, then Suru, then Paulina, and then. Looks both your turns are together. Hmm. Sada. All right. I'm going to go after him. Okay. Um, Do some, some running and some jumping. All right. Uh, what is your armor class? Because as you run past the Partizani, they're not just going to stand there. What if, I, what if I jump on top of the crowd's heads? 
Ooh. You could attempt an acrobatics roll to jump over the Partizani. It will not be easy because you'd have to jump over two ranks of them. I'm gonna do, you it. Can do it. I can do You're it. Level twelve. And I uh, always get a running. I've always. I think I got a. Or no, I'm already running in it either, either way. All right. All right. So, I just yeah, on Ninja roll acrobatics. All right. I'm doing it. I have a pretty good acrobatics. You do. <laughs> wow. Okay. Sada, you sprint at the line of Parazani, and they just <laughs> they marsh marshal themselves the line of ones pointing to you. Their gleaming, flared uh, points of their whole arms, ready to stab you right in your flesh. Um, <laughs> and you, uh, you note that they're like the first rank is pointed at a horizontal and the second rank is like at a sort of diagonal pointing upward. So instead of jumping over, you uh as they're about to stab at you, just as like the point of the nearest one is about to hit you, you just drop and you skid underneath the uh the Hell formation yeah. between the legs of the two guys and uh <laughs> between you and um and Mario Morosini and you just pop up after that and just continue sp uh, sprinting <laughs> after him. Um, get back here, you, you son of a bitch! Uh, at the end of your turn, you're about sixty feet away. Um, which is essentially the position that you're at. The position he was before he started running. Okay. And he turns around and goes, "No." <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, Kasumi, it's your turn. So wait, has Sada tackled him yet? Nah, he's still he's still far away from himself. Okay. Well, how far is he? He's about sixty feet away from Sada, yeah. and Sada is about one hundred twenty feet away from you. Yeah. How can you get that far? Damn. Damn. Wow. He was standing back. Yeah. Quite a ways. Yeah. Uh, I have no I, yeah, he was just shouting from like the As other. As I said, building. the acoustics here are really good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, hold up. Pathfinder suffocate. <laughs> Kinetic, damn it. You should just have this on your sheet. I forgot the range, okay? <laughs> you should copy and paste that into your sheet. <laughs> just, I usually just have like a thousand tabs open. Well, so how many times well, is Don't do that. Just have the one oh. tab with your sheet open. <laughs> okay, 100. That's why it's four. Okay, so he's about. Is he 120 feet from me? No, no, he's, uh, no, he's, he's 180 feet, 80 feet yeah. from you. Okay, um, well... And about 40 feet away from you are a line of Parzani. Yeah. So I just, like, did some sick parkour around them. Um, okay. <laughs> um, I guess I'm also going to try to do some sick parkour because he's a billion feet away. All right. Uh, you also noticed that in where Sada zipped through, um, they're kind of milling about, trying to reverse around and go after Zada. Uh They're not in a position to really make attacks of opportunity because, well, they already oh, tried well, to. Well, just, I'll just sprint through them. Okay, so um, they're still standing in line. I'm going to need you to uh, make an opposed strength roll against the two guys that you're trying to barrel out of the way. <laughs> I, you just told me I didn't need to make an acrobatics to get through. Yeah, you, you need to make a strength, strength roll. Yeah. Then I know that I'm going to still do the acrobatics because my acrobatics is fundamentally far higher can, than my strength. Can Kasumi oh, use her ahead. constitution? <laughs> no. no Square-like and blocky, she forces her way through. Uh, Can't she okay. like ice, man? Like, okay, like Kasumi, the, the guards, <laughs> the guards <laughs> are still sort of like milling about, so when you run up to them, they're not, like, they only just, just start turning around and go, HALT! Um, and yeah, you just sort of like I launched myself over with a little pillar of ice. Yeah, you, uh, you as you do, you put one of your hands on the head uh, on the helmet of one of the Parazani and just use that to leverage them yourself completely. over them. Uh, no, he, he's not impaled. You're just you're just using him like a fence, uh, like a fence um, bar. And uh, yeah, you get over onto the other side. Um, and yeah, you're capable of just continuing to run along there. All right. Yep, I'm just going to continue running along then. Okay. Um, you are now also 60 feet away from uh, Senor Morosini. All right, just, just keep 
Just fucking wait. I'm gonna fucking suffocate him. Okay. <laughs> um, now it is Akio's turn. Huh. Akio, you're also in full plate mail. I was so we're gonna pull out a bottle of liquor. Kill a man. <laughs> oh god. Just, you just take the drink. What am I supposed to do here? Everything's gone our way. You know, I'm well, tired. You gotta make sure he doesn't get away. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try throwing a bottle at him. Okay. Um, <laughs> one hell of a throw. Okay. So, oh make a ranged attack roll. Uh, this is outside the maximum range increment of a thrown <laughs> weapon, of an improvised thrown weapon. However, you know, roll a 20, you might be able to knock him into yeah. in the head. Yeah. Right. I, no, I, no, until you roll a 20. I, I, the arc. He's in full plate armor. <laughs> Oh. Uh, what did I, you end up rolling? It's not 20, but... Alright. Yeah, unfortunately... You had a part of Zen. He's 180 feet away. <laughs> you you have the bottle. Um, It does hit a part of Zanny right in the helmet. Sorry! Ah! What the hell? <laughs> Sorry! It's a good I... thing I was wearing a helmet. You could have hurt me. Yeah. Oh, that was probably intentional. Oh... I have a move, uh, right? You, you could still move, yes. Could I use that to throw another bottle? <laughs> huh? I don't no, know. I think you, you, I think you used to your take standard out action. another bottle, yeah. Pull out another bottle. Okay. <laughs> um, well then, uh, Suru, it's your turn. I guess I will charge through the uh, the gentleman. Partizani. Okay. Are you going to try and... Uh, Leap over them, or are you going to bull rush? I almost want to try to jump over them just because everyone else is doing it. But it'd probably be better not to do that. Yeah, you should just I mean, bear all three of them. One place your strength strengths a bit more. I do have a good acrobatics, though. Um, so I just roll strength? Uh, yes. It's not that great. It's not terrible, though. Oh, oh no, uh, you don't roll the strength. You roll your CMB. Oh, okay. If you're um, trying to bull rush. That wasn't actually a bad roll, I guess, though. Where is CMB? Uh, under offense. Yeah. Or attack. Okay. Um, Suru. Uh, there are two Partizani on the ground. As you just sort of shoulder check through two of them. Um, what's your speed? Because you're a barbarian, so it's in. Uh, oh, right, but right, you are the giant slayer or whatever. Yeah, so you don't get enhanced movement, and you're wearing hide armor, so that reduces your speed. But I have something I, to make it normal. I know that. Yeah. So okay, so you're now caught up to Sada and Kasumi. Um. And yeah. Oh, actually, wait a second, Sada. Don't you have boots of springy and striding? Yes, I do. I saw right, so you're actually. 40. I'm actually ahead of them a bit, probably. Yeah, you're you're actually only twenty feet away Damn, from cool. uh, Mario. He, I mean, he's completely fucked at this point, right? <laughs> he's not gonna give up though. It would be hard for him to get away. It seems. At least at this juncture, but he, also once he gets outside the conservatory, what else is out there? Um, Paulina. Oh yeah, Paulina is gonna use her fast running to get there. Yeah. She has a base Paulina speed of seventy, that. so yeah. she can run two hundred. So she catches him? Paulina just so runs I, past him. As I understand, that's how it works, correct? Uh, yes, Paulina, yeah, can move um, 280 has... feet in one round. Yes, so... Um, there shouldn't be like, anything obstructing her either. There's still the Parzani between her and him. Well, I knocked two of them down. She could just run right through there. That is true. Um, oh, right. I'm sorry. Sue, what was your armor class? If you partisan, you do get attacked. Um, well, then I get to attack them. So there. <laughs> Are you raging? 
I could, yeah. Well, that would be something that you would do at the beginning of your turn. Well, you would have told me that they were doing attack of opportunities back then, too, though. Well, you can't make... You can't rage as a reaction, is my point. Yeah, you have well, to, I don't you like ha you have to declare animals. raging when you're... Um, okay, you know what? No, the next no go you. ahead. Um, what are my defenses? 21. Okay. No. Oh, no. 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 Okay. Someone sort of, one gets a little close at you. Um, you're able to sort of just sort of bat it away with your uh, armored hand, but um, it uh, scratches up your armor a bit, and I have to look at some of the parts in there. Um, Uh, actually, I know what they are. What am I doing? Uh, you take seven strain. Oh, no. Minus your... <laughs> so probably like five. And, uh, yeah. I don't think you're especially upset by this one Parazan. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And yeah, anyway. Uh, Paulina. Um, okay, can she use, uh, spend a point of key to get a plus 20 bonus on an acrobatics high jump to avoid these people? Sure. Okay, I'll roll her acrobatics plus 20. Uh, so add 20 to this. Oh, it's a oh, 58. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> so right, does she Paulina... just leap the full 100? Um, no. <laughs> She didn't do that. Like a crashing tiger hidden she, dragon. She just, like she just ascends into space. Wait a second. She can she, she can, can essentially fly. fly. She, yeah. yeah, she has that ability. But in this case, she didn't fly. She just jumped. <laughs> um, really far. You know, she she did the samurai jack jump good. Jump good, yeah. Um, <laughs> samurai jack jump good. And uh, yeah, she she. I mean, I guess. Yeah, no, she would just catch up to him because then, no matter where he goes, she'll be able to reach him the next round anyway. Zips around him. He not take attacks of opportunity against him, even if he had a weapon drawn. And yeah, Paulina is just in front of him now, up between him and the exit. And he Perfect. goes, "Oh no!" Uh, and okay. it's just Ari's turn. Uh, well, okay. I mean, it's just one guy, and then a bunch of dudes standing down, and most of the bruisers in the party are up. So... Jazari leans back and takes a smoke. I'm like, I, ch I, ch I would like these partisani to ch chill out. I, I, I meant to add on to my turn, I hand a bottle to Cesare. Oh. I drink what from it. <laughs> uh, it's poison. Oh. That was a traitor all along. <laughs> yes, it's Accio was the Shogun. And Donatella. I pull out another bottle, I turn it around, <laughs> I prepare to use it as a blunt weapon against Zari. <laughs> I should have rolled a character who just works with bottles, I'm sorry. Anyhow. Um, I guess... Yeah, can I just, like... It's not like I have a specific skill that it would allow me to make a crowd stand down. But I would just want to tell these guys, like, at this point, there's no purpose of you continuing to stand here. The person you're here to protect is not being protected by you. And if you continue to resist, you'll be arrested with him. <laughs> mm. Like, you're not even doing your job. So you guys what are you doing? Up. Like, what are you doing if you're just going to be there? All right. Roll uh, diplomacy. Um, do I have like a feat? They're not four levels above me. I can't really like intoxicating flattery all of them. Okay. Do it. 
I did it. I clicked. Do it. Has it shown up yet for you? Uh, 46 is what it shows for Didn't me. show up for me either. That's weird. Interesting. Well, 20 being weird. Yep. Hey, uh, uh, it I is can... uh, past 9.30. Yes, I know. I'm off tonight, so oh, I don't I'll go personally. Okay. Um, all right. Well, we, we're going to be wrapping up as soon. Yeah. Just let me drop kick this guy and then we can end. Yep. <laughs> yep. Um, okay. Please uh, don't crit and accidentally kill him. <laughs> uh, well, never mind. Yes, with that, Cesare, the Parzani stand down. They bring their Parzans back up. They, they know that you guess that they might know that they're complicit. And really, mm -hmm. if they Oh, these are like hand-picked guys, so they know yeah. about this. Yeah, so <laughs> they might be hoping for uh, clemency. Mm -hmm. Or just not to be looked too closely at. <laughs> I memorize all of their faces. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, it is now Sada's turn again. All right, Sada's gonna try to uh, knock that guy, run up and knock that guy down. Okay. Um. Well, Sada, you are not quite within. Uh, simply moving up to him. Uh, okay. You're still... How far away is he? Oh, wait, no, you're 20 feet away. Yeah, um, 20 so, feet away. Yes, you are actually just move up to him at range, and yeah. uh, you make a trip uh, combat maneuver if you want All to right. respond back. Hey, and I, I can do that, because I have a bonus that as well, because I have uh, ah, combat agile maneuvers. Yeah, or, yeah that, that thing, yeah. I'm, I'm bad at remembering the feet names. Okay. <laughs> okay, death maneuvers. That's it, okay. So let me... Uh, two. CMB. That should be a plus two out of that, I believe. 25 does not do it. Damn it. God damn. You tried to take him out of his legs, and he just sort of, like, his his armor is dirty enough that he sort of, like, kick against it. He, he trips a bit and goes, ah, no, 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 go away. <laughs> um, wait. And he continues to try and run. Can't I, can't I make, oh, wait, no, never mind. You've got to go away. He said to go away. So... <laughs> I was going to say, um, I can't make as many trips as I can in order of attacks, but I I moved, so I can't do a full round you attack. You cannot make a full round attack. Yeah. Um, so, Kasumi, it is your turn. I didn't know that, by the way. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so am I, w am I within 120 feet of him now? Yes. Okay. Uh, I reach a hand out, and I just kind of... Voip some water right into his, uh, his lungs. So yeah, I'm gonna spend a burn. Save? Huh? To fortitude save? Yeah, it's a fortitude save. Uh, do, do, do. I just read the calculation for it. Uh, this uh, be... isn't. Uh, yeah, this always confuses me because it's not the suffocation spell. It's like the secret no. suffocation in the. Yeah, it's a special kineticist thing. Kineticist. Uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, and this it. So the the fortitude save is to see whether or not he becomes uh, disabled. Okay. Yes. So it's uh, what's it, ten plus my con, so six. It's Sixteen plus one half your level, so twenty-two. Yeah. He passes. Yeah, well, damn. He still got water in his lungs, and no, I'm just gonna keep on concentrating. Um, so yeah, and you go, uh, it is his turn. He is going to continue trying. Um, he, uh, continue, uh, Sada, he is running out of your threatened range, so you can make an attack of opportunity against him. Aha. Uh -huh. Can I trip as attack opportunity? You can replace a attack, a, it's an attack, so yes. I All right. Replace it with a trip. <laughs> I try to trip from my other leg. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh no, I rolled a one that time. I, uh, I, I fall prone. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, you, you kick him in his heavily armored sabaton, and you, it's just like a conk. Oh, oh no! <laughs> you're, you're hopping up and down on one foot. It's, it's... Um, Akio, is your turn. I'm prepared to throw another bottle. He is, he is even further away from hey, look, you. Look, look. I move 
I move within my... You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Okay, wait. I'm <laughs> going to a mortar. I do not have access to one. Uh, I walk about, I don't know, 20 feet closer. Okay, you are now halfway between where you were and the Partizani who are... <laughs> I will not be throwing a bottle at him. No, he's about 220 feet away from you now. Oh, I'm nowhere close. Well, this will be a hell of a throw. The only reason that I'm not participating in this chase is because not only am I in full armor, but it seems to be going pretty well. Either he's going to die or... Anyhow, I eye it. Uh, Suru. Wait, no, what? I'm going to throw the bottle. Oh, yeah, right, fine, go ahead. He's going to try. There we go. Damn it. A little bit <laughs> you're, better. You're rolling 20 one of these days. It's not um, a bad throw, though. Suru, uh... Oh, did, I guess I missed. A, a bottle lands in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you look back and then Akio gives you a thumbs up. Chariots of fire plays. <laughs> <laughs> and it's now your turn. Bro, still the end. I should just see him be this guy, right? Yeah. That's the play. So I'll just run up and dunk him. Oh, that's it, right? You said 25. Uh, I don't believe I said his CMD. I just said 23 didn't make it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Um. Well, what is it? Is it a 25? <laughs> no, it's a 20. <laughs> it's a 30 billion. Uh, his CMD. Oh, I, I, I'll rage. I forgot that I can do that. Okay. Um. I, I don't know what that, that adds to that. Uh, at least plus three, because that's what your strength bonus of raging right now is. And I think that's all. Um, so that becomes a 29. And uh, I'll just let you know. His... What uh, type of combat maneuver are you doing? What do you mean? Describe it. trip or bull rush? Or... Yeah, you yeah. can knock him down with a bull rush too, I think. Or an overrun. Yes. Like there are different types of combat maneuvers. So overrun would just be like trampling him. Yeah. Bull rush yeah. would be trying to push him. Um, trip would, would be, be trying to knock him to the ground. Or grappling, yes. Yeah, grappling. Okay, uh, you grab him. You just like he continues to try. His momentum sort of like takes him off, his, but you're just jacked. You <laughs> Just hold on to him, and he just goes, uh, uh, and lands and back you, on the ground. Then flex him. Um, but yes, he is now grappled and cannot run away from you. There you go. All right. That's the guy. Uh, let's, nice. let's all walk up to him and arrest him. All right. Um, Paulina, is her turn next? Uh, well, Paulina goes over and aids in the grapple. Gives a okay. plus two bonus to that. Okay. Um, Cesare, what do you do? Uh, so the Partizani has st stood down. Mm -hmm. So I can walk through them. Yes. I you stroll imperiously through them? I stroll imperiously through him towards Mario. Okay. Uh, Kasumi? How far am I now? I was 60, so then he's whatever. Doesn't matter. I stopped suffocating him, or do we still need to be on turn order? I don't think so. No, no not really. Uh, so you just, what? Uh, try, well, he's actually going to try and he break the grapple. Try and break out your. Um, so he will try to do that. Uh, what is your CMD? My CMD is thirty-eight. It's a plus. Two, I believe, from Paulina's aid. Yeah, so it's basically forty. Um, <laughs> yeah, he doesn't. As it turns out. Um, so yeah, Sura, if you want to like make a roll, pin him. Uh, another CMB roll. Yeah. Yep. Woo woo. Uh, yeah, you suplex him, and he is Holy on the ground, shit. <laughs> and you're on oh, top yeah. of him. Um, and he is not moving. He is stunned. He is, he has, uh, he has little, uh, Suru's and Paulina's floating around his head, and he <laughs> is, uh, for all intents and purposes, your prisoner. Your coup has begun. Nice. Um, your soldiers are mobilizing, and 
Uh, you have. All right, guys. Time to time the of the Vivini's army in your clutches. Time to charge uh, the uh, gr the Grand Palace. The Palace of the Grand Pr Prince is the last obstacle between you and Donatella Morosini, Saver Queen of Vivin. Those two guys burst in at this exact exact moment. It's like Donatella's a slaver. <laughs> yes, let me know. <laughs> oh. uh, but yes, uh, glad to have everybody back. Yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed that session. Uh, oh, next yeah. week we'll hopefully have time for nonstop combat. Join yeah. in the nonstop combat that will be you assuming the Grand Prince's palace directly. Um. Hopefully it won't be quite so quite nonstop combat. That might be a little we'll see draining we'll see. after a while, but we'll find out. It's a fun looking. All right, well, I gotta go. Good night. Yes. Good night. Uh, yes. I hope you all have a very good night, and yes, uh, you see you all next. Indeed. Good night.